Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Zen Den. We haven't seen you all in a while. I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, tonight, that music, man. I feel like I'm at the massage therapist. The massage therapist. Good. Get you all relaxed. You need to be mellow. Everybody just be mellow, man. It's all good. But yeah, we're back doing a stream tonight. Uh, I am Phil Leon. Uh, I do comic art, coloring, editorial, and a few other things. And with me tonight, I've got uh, co-host Mr. Uh, Warren Brown. Hello. Hello. With uh, He's a creator, write, writer, drawer, creator of uh, Sig and Joe. I do it all. He does it all. Except for that's what I've that's what I've heard, man. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> but and we also have with us tonight Mr. Max Deville from What's Atrocity up? Press, the proud sponsor of the Zen Dan. Woo We're just easing in back, getting easing back into doing some streaming, man. We figure we do a a mellow late night draw stream. We'll talk about Sig and Joe, White Devil, and the upcoming Merry Machine Gun issue four. three, four, four. Damn, yeah. Getting them out there, man. Yep. So, yeah, let's see what you're up to, Warren. I know what you're up to, but you want to tell everybody what you've been getting into, what you're working on now, all the good stuff. Well, uh, right now I'm working on page 27 of issue two. Um, I'm getting uh, issue one, the cover, colored by uh, Phil Leon. And as soon as he finishes up the fine little touches here and there, I'm going to uh, do myself a big old print run and get prepared for a uh, future Kickstarter in the middle of the year. Also, I put in my first application for my first convention, so I'm waiting to hear back from that. So. Hell yeah. And what you been up to lately, Max? Just getting ready for Mary Machine Gun 4's launch on the 7th of January. Kickstarter. Uh, It'll be a good time. 
Matt, tell them what else you got in the works, man. What's going to be? Okay. You know, you got a whole slew of good stuff that'll be coming up. Yeah, February, we've got Human Hunters number three. March, we've got uh, Ninja Bimbo's issue number three. April, we should have Love and Death. May will be Human Hunters four. Uh, June will be Ninja Bimbo's four. Uh, hold on. Ninja Bimbo's versus Zombies from Deep Space. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just kind of keep rotating like that as the year goes through. Hell yeah. I mean, that's the goal. I mean, the reality of it is, I was talking to Warren about this when you were gone. The reality of it is, is that it's going to at least take us five weeks to do a Kickstarter. To do it properly. Right. So. Right. Every four months, we're going to have one month that we lose, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah, but you guys are really cranking them out more and more yeah. this year's. This year, you really got it going, man. That was the plan. Yeah. Yeah. Stick it. Build the machine. Yeah. Get a plan and stick to it, man. Max is living proof, man. Yep. So what's this you're working on right here, Warren? This is some this of the Sig and Joe. Yeah, this is page 27. This is uh, issue two. In the first issue, Sig and Joe went out and uh, got the uh, the chowder squid. Well, they got it for uh, this four-armed character here, Bernie. He's the owner of the bar, and uh, he's more machine than man anymore. But he's one of the types that if you want to know anything in the waste can, you go to him. But you know, nothing's for free. He always asks. He's always asking people. He always has to do something for it. So Joe's now coming in to collect his uh, information, and they're going to be a little bit of a conversation between the two of them about what they plan to do with the heist and the dangers of taking on that big corporation. And I'm going to show a little bit more of Joe's character. It'd be the first time he kind of breaks a panel and fights back will be in this kind of conversation here. He's usually a real reserved character and I don't have him break any panels, but he's going to break a panel in uh, this conversation because he doesn't like uh, being told not to do stuff like that. Of course not. But And with me, I've just I've been working on, got a few things cooking, man. We've got a, like Warren said, I've been working on and wrapping up a Sig and Joe cover um, doing a little bit of something for a uh, for a uh, gauge the wolf on his uh, God Slayer stuff and uh, I am working on issue two of what devil what devil see you're you slow to the draw tonight Max oh because he's left the, the Max has left the building <laughs> But yeah, so White Devil getting issue two out. Issue one had been out, and we'll show we'll show you some stuff right here. Here you go. Here's the. Uh, we'll do it like this. Hold on. So let me pull both those down so I can turn on my scary face cam. We have right here. Is the Sig and Joe book that Warren sent out to me in great shape, man, because he uses Gemini mailers. And then for this is the early run. And then for the next run, we've got a little bit of that going on. And then also, hold it, let me try this again. I'm working on my production here, so... <laughs> <laughs> We have White Devil. Is, White Devil, issue number one from Silver Line Comics. Hell yeah. Right now, I am working on. Oh, crap. I'll have to show you in a second. I lost my share screen. There we go, and it's back. 
juggling the levers and the stuff. That's why I like other going on other streams. I don't have to pull all the levers and I can concentrate on what I'm working on. But there you go. There's a page that I'm in the middle of working on for uh, White Devil issue number two. So that's what I'm going to start with. And then I'm going to get over to prepping, doing a little post work on this piece for uh, God Slayer. And so that's what's on the table tonight. That was nice. I even had props tonight for both both IPs that's getting worked on on the stream tonight. <laughs> Sweet. Nice. And you know, you're allowed to, you can show some goodies off max so the people can see what's up and go yeah. over and maybe I, i'm sure they will if they see it and we'll get them the link for the uh all my money on for the next the, six months we'll, <laughs> we'll give the, we'll put out a link there so they can see where they can do the pre-launch for the uh kickstarter which is in what two days one day one day now saturday saturday oh, yeah, right saturday. let's just say saturday Saturday, 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 Monster Kickstarter. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. There's some of the covers we got here. That's cover A by Fern Cord. God, he always does such nice work. Yep. Cover B yeah. by Mariah Benes. Cover C by LC Fritas. Cover D by Fabio Simeo. I like that one. Yeah, it's really good. It's my. Here, let me turn off my camera. See? <laughs> I use it for that. Turn off my camera. <laughs> oh! And cover by John Royal. That's Lula the Moss. one I like, man. That's the one I like. That one's awesome. Yeah. Wow. And then we've got Gardenia. This is Diego Bernard's. That's not bad either. Nice composition. Yep. And then Gardenio. He did this one. He's got oh, one name like Cher. Sure. I like yeah, we don't, we, we, we don't have. There's not a single bad cover. There's Karen Nicole's cosplay cover. Oh, it's very a virgin nice. variant. And then there's another one from LC Free Test, but I don't have it on this computer. So, let me get to some pages real quick. Let me find the pages. Picture pages, picture pages, get out your picture pages. Get out your crayons and your pencils. Those are the not lettered versions I'll just pull up the PDF Fuck it. there you go there you go and make sure to grab up your uh, your uh, Kickstarter link for the pre-launch so we can throw it up there yeah. P what's up man good to see you Thank you for stopping over. Are you on the YouTube, Phil? Uh, the YouTube, we're on the YouTube, the Twitch, and the F Book of Faces. Pete, Pete's been hard at work. He's getting a book out, man. It's going to be awesome. Attack on Cookie. You got to check it out. Yeah. Where'd you do that? Oh, okay. How did I post as you? Yeah, that's right. We're because we're in the yeah, okay. Yeah, we're we're in the in the Zen Den branding area. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That works. I was like, hold it. It's popping up in places and stuff. All right. All right. So here's page one. Starts out in summer. It's got Carol the Valkyrie fighting with Mary. 
Nice open splash page to open with. And then page two, they're maintaining their their fight with each other, and Mary saying to maintain her. The Valkyries tell Mary to maintain her focus, which Mary does not, and she gets her ass kicked. <laughs> And as she lands on the ground, the Valkyrie helps her up, tells her to remain focused, then she helps her up. Because they're they're friendly and helpful with each other. They're good like that, you know. Yep. Then we've got Charlotte. We gotta meet back up with her after she had bathed in the Amaranthine pool and had her skin changed a different color. And I love this this <laughs> Are you questioning my motives now? Look what you fucking did to me. Questioning your motives? No, I question your sanity. <laughs> <laughs> and there is a smack in the face. <laughs> don't, don't question her sanity. <laughs> well, so with the pre law, do you have the. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Never mind. And yeah, I just got. We went through this earlier just to do a last, yep. last, last once over, man. And that's the one thing too about his campaigns. His books are always done before the campaign even goes up. Hell yeah, they are. That's the way it works. Like Trusty yeah. Press does it. Yeah, that's how we do it. Uh, then we had, we, you know, we changed the the color of the leaves and everything in the background, so you could tell that time is progressing as she's training. It's no longer spring. It's obviously fall. Or it's no yeah. longer summer. It's obviously fall. And then she's like, got knocked down. She's like, let me guess, focus? She's like, no, that was just bad balance. <laughs> <laughs> and then we come back to Charlotte crying about being hideous and her little boss tell her that she's super hot and she loves her. And then there's the first kiss in a Mary Machine Gun book. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> Premiere. Better whoa, get this book, whoa, man. Whoa, whoa, first, man. first appearance, man. First appearance. Mm -hmm. Collector's item. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's pretty sweet. Uh, they got the link in the chat. So if you wanted to sign up to be notified when it goes live, just go ahead and do that, and you can join seventy other people waiting to know. When it goes live on the seventh, we're doing a a joint, uh, probably a print, probably a mini print that LC Free Test did for uh, Mary Machine Gun and uh, Ursa Minor crossover. And uh, if you back both the campaigns, you get that 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 piece of art. So it'll be pretty cool. Yeah, he I says you what showed time? us that in our off air, right? Yeah. Yeah, the pencils. Oh, yeah, that one looks really, really good. Pete says what, what, what time, and I'm guessing that's when the... It'll be, it'll be noon on the 7th Eastern, or Central Time. So it'll be 1 o'clock Eastern Time. Noon. I wake up at the crack of noon, man. The crack of noon? <laughs> <laughs> no, my time schedule's all over the place. Oh, damn it. Now I got to go light yeah. a cigarette on, that, on the oven again. And now, yeah, there's that. that's noon your time or noon Eastern it's, Standard? It's 1 o'clock Eastern time. Okay, 1 o'clock Eastern Standard. All right. Let's see. 10 o'clock my time probably yeah you west coaster man that big time zone jump over there hanging out with bigfoot yep Best weed connect in the state. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have more Bigfoot festivals than we got combat conventions over here. Oh, yeah. 
yeah you're talking about that it's like man there's only this many within it's like yeah we talked about how you get closer closer you get to the midwest over the coast that they're like way more abundant it seems at least from what we know could be wrong It's, it's, it's uh east coast is just more populated so there's more cities and everything's not not closer but with there's more within a eight hour drive than i've got. yeah well me and phil were wondering today if like we were kind of like being filtered out of like people algorithms yeah algorithmic algorithmically like not giving us people that are coming that are broadcasting their shows out of the west coast because the time zone differences and so they're more at ports so it's more apt that social media shoves those in our face before it sh or shows this shoves the stuff in our face the closer it is and the farther it gets out it kind of gets filtered out the farther from the region that's what we're kind of guessing that would make sense face because when i was streaming regularly most of the people i picked up that found me on youtube and on twitch were west coasters yeah, i remember earlier on earlier on in the early days of facebook it seemed like you were getting more stuff that popped up to more more locally and then it finally started opening up to spread out more regionally and stuff so i think it finds like an epicenter of where you're at and then it just kind of you it, it puts the circle so far out for the most part unless you go find other stuff directly yourself maybe i don't know it'd be an interesting to know how that works i know i'm always getting pop-ups for hot single moms in my area <laughs> <laughs> you ever watch internet historian uh no okay he's this guy who just makes videos and they're pretty they're pretty funny and one of the videos is there are no hot singles in your area and like he goes down the rabbit holes of all those hot singles ads <laughs> <laughs> oh that sounds like a good show <laughs> Yeah, I get on even on Twitter. I get more followers or these, those uh, like OnlyFan bot pages. Yeah, I've got I so get many one of those bot a pages. Day. Yep, me too. <laughs> I'm like, okay, go ahead and inflate my number. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, Whatever. that's the way it's been for me over on Twitter, man. The bots have been let loose lately, man. They're everywhere. Everywhere. They're everywhere. Whatever you do, don't follow them back because that's when you're going to start getting message requests. Yep. From oh God. All sorts of crap. Yeah. <laughs> no, I no, I don't. It's like, yeah, I'm not gonna block them because it just adds to the amount of people following you there. And I don't do enough actively over on Twitter anyhow, where I end up people running into me and add me. So yeah, go ahead. It's 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 the twatter after all. You know, you guys know that I'm no big fan of twatter, man. It's a mess over there. It's a mess, I tell you. I use it to promote my stuff. I mean, that's what I use most social media for is just promoting my stuff. I don't really have a whole lot of, I mean, very rarely will I post something that's a personal thought, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the way I am. That's the way it is. Post up something new and just bail after that. There it is. Bye. <laughs> Gabriel Ashikam has got some, uh, some spam that he wants to send you, Phil. Here's followers and channel oh god on Twitch, of course. <laughs> the quality is guaranteed to be then auto on, incredibly flexible and convenient order. Management panel. Everything is in your hands. Turn it on, off, customize. Go to the doghype.com. <laughs> All right, there. I just promote for you now. Where where's my money, man? Where's my money? Where's my money, Brian? Where's my money? You get that it's doge hype. Doge high. Where's my money, Gabriel? Where's you, my you money? Got to get into the circle there, Phil. That, that crypto talk. Yeah. Crypto. Get it right or pay the price. Damn crypto <laughs> bros. Crypto bro. Oh. What's wrong? There we go. Why do I have to go all crazy with the background? So is this your way of flatting? Yeah, pretty much. Because yeah, because then he goes in with the uh, with the cell shading, basically. Yeah. yeah. Which here you can. I'll show you. You can definitely see it. 
because I try to work with Warren stuff. I try to keep his uh, cell shading in there the way I work a technique. Mm -hmm. I work over the top, so his cell shading, shell shading, his cell shading. shading still comes through even though I add the, add the extra, <laughs> little bit of the extra rendering and stuff. You know, mm -hmm. like here, here we go. That's right. I've got it set up so you can. See that because actually being more organized and I have my layers in groups and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, there you go. So you can see the cell shading. Give you guys an idea. Do a little closer up. Mm -hmm. Yeehaw. That way you can kind of see the techniques we work with when we work together, man. I want to start practicing around with the way uh, with, I think his name Luigi is it Terrell? He does yeah. red. Yeah. I, I want to practice the way he does grays because he just uses one color and he almost like he puts the layer over the entire screen or, or entire page and then goes through and just erases where the highlights are. Boom. Oh yeah, really I do. I, I'll do that. All oh, right. No, I'm sorry. You were still going. I, oh, no, no. I would just say that it's like a real quick way to do it. It only uses one gray. And uh, I might try to do a comic strip that way and see how it looks. I'll Not do that. With, Joe, I got them kind of the way I want them to look. But, yeah. I'll do that with pencils when I go. Because usually if I do pencils, I do a lot of shadowing, like a lot of rendering. And a lot yeah. of times I'll go back in with I love these like these little polymer erasers that I like to pick up, man, where I, and I just go through and just remove just a little bit to give it some of the highlights and the extra contrast and depth. <laughs> but yeah, I was thinking we should figure out, I never, I haven't messed around in it forever, but could make a gift, man. We could do one like this. Oh, that'd be cool. As long as it doesn't give anybody seizures or anything, I have to be careful about how fast it flashes. <laughs> yeah, do, do have to keep the flashing transition. slow or a fade, <laughs> fade one into the other, then back into the other where it does a fade, where it just each one kind of starts to gradually come through the other. That'd be kind of yep. cool. We'll have to experiment with that. We got a, a bunch of us have got a lot of things planned for this year, man. There's a whole lot of comic stuff going on, man. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm excited for the Penguina project. I want to make some horror shorts. I want to get started on issue three. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff. Yeah. Busy yeah. year, boy. Yeah, boy. Let's see. What do I want to hit next? Let's get a little, little white devil done. I'll get this panel wrapped up for the most part. And White Devil, if you do not have issue one, you can find it on Indie Planet or over at the SilverLineComics.com website. And I believe it is available, yeah, Indie Planet because it goes through Kablam. So yeah, you can definitely get it on Indie Planet. Just Put Indie Planet and uh, White Devil in, and it pretty much comes up in the search. That's the easiest way to do it. And you can get your copy of Issue 1 before I wrap up Issue 2, and that comes your way. You can get caught up before Issue 2 is done. <laughs> do they have, uh, when that gets done, are they going to do a Kickstarter for it as well? Yeah, yes. That's And after this is done, I'll... Three, three, and I think most of or all of by now four is done and waiting for me also. So that means whole, all four issues, all four issues of the arc are in some form of production. So you won't have, you won't have any lack of a white devil for the near future, man. Get that four issue arc going and see where it goes from there. That's what I'm trying to hoping to do is when I do the first Kickstarter for for one that I'll be able to be able to do two a couple months later. 
the way it is over the way it is over a silver line it's about it's about like what, how how the rest of these guys like like max are doing where it's gonna be where they got one one title right after the other like every month has a campaign going on basically for different titles yeah because if it's a different title then people are the followers of that title will be and yep and they and all they've got a lot of good material over at Silverline. Mm -hmm. I am glad that I got a chance to work with them. Like one thing that's so cool about this is the writer for White Devil is the co-creator of co-creator of uh, Bulletproof Monk from what uh, from Image back in the nineties. I think I remember you saying that. Yeah, yeah. The movie was all right, but it's not as good as the comic, and a lot of people were not cool with the movie. <laughs> <laughs> but they had very little say when it came to, you know, how that goes, man. Yeah. The, the, comp the movie company did what the hell they wanted, and it was it was not in a good. You remember how representations of comics weren't always the, weren't always the best there for a while, man. They they listen to um, the creators more now. Yeah. For some of these bigger IPs, because they realize there's a level of like nerd authenticity that they have to get ground right. Right. Um, yep. Yep. But uh, back in the '90s and early 2000s, it was just do whatever the hell you want. It's a funny book. We got some really weird boobies. We got, I watched like... Howard the Duck the other day. Oh no! <laughs> you have oh, my yeah. sympathy, man. I forgot how weird that movie was. Yeah, <laughs> that was Lucas's biggest, biggest flop, man. She's all trying to bang a duck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching it like my brother said when we first started, like, I think I'm going to show Adam this. And uh, Adam's uh, 13. And like we get halfway through the movie and it's like her boobs hanging out half pretty much. And like, like, it's like she's just hitting on this animatronic duck. And I was just like, nah, maybe you shouldn't let him watch this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that was the first not a good adaptation kind of transfer that people were not keen on at all. <laughs> you ever watch that old Fantastic Four movie that you can pretty much only get in bootleg? Yeah, yeah, it was actually better than the next one that came out after it in a lot of ways. Yeah, because that was a Corman movie, just so something about keeping a license or some shit like that. So they made that movie, but it still turned out better than one of the next ones after it. <laughs> I like the one that had, uh, uh, oh, what's his name in it? Captain America. Yeah. But yeah, that was like that a lot. People did that a lot where they'd hire Roger Corman to ju do just a quick version so somebody so they could keep hold of the licensing. It's like that was Roger Corman. He, he was the king destroying IPs. He was the he was the king of, <laughs> of budget movie making, man, Corman was. Interesting guy, man. Hey Corman, I really hate the micronauts. Can you do something with that? Sure. <laughs> Dude, I would really like them to see them do an adaptation of Micronauts. That's one thing I'd like to see them either make an animated movie or film a, or movie or series of. I want the Centurions. Centurions. Hell yeah. That was a USA show I'd watch after school. The, the three dudes that they would like. One day I had like a pretty much like plain parts stuck to him they look like yeah, you know, they like the, the suits that would like they would attach stuff to you'd rather have that than the micronauts man uh... sacrilege man sacrilege <laughs> i used to love micronauts as a kid i didn't get the star wars figures i got the micronauts and they were pretty good man for an affordable 
figures back when you're a kid, man. Those were they were fun and affordable. They were articulated way better than the Star Wars figures. Yep. Then the comic came out, and I read that. It was Marvel, wasn't it? Yeah. They also had like a. There was one. I still have the issue somewhere, man. But it's a. Uh, Micronauts team up with a uh, man thing, so there's a man thing Micronauts, man. So that was pretty cool. And I really love the way that they finally portrayed him, and it looked right, and it wasn't screwed up in Werewolf by Night. The man thing, he is, he's been out of the light for a while because every time they try to do him, it's just god awful, man. There's a sci-fi, sci-fi shit or movie they tried to do a man thing. Man, it was like, oh my god, this is awful. <laughs> yeah, that was straight to video. Well, well yeah, well, it was a sci-fi original when sci-fi was ma trying to make. Oh, all the sci-fi channel. Yeah, yeah sci-fi channel. There you go. Sorry, sorry, I didn't clarify. Keep getting sidetracked between conversation and working. <laughs> and I loved uh, the sci-fi Sharknado movies. Sharknado. Oh, they were just so cheesy good. <laughs> it's it, things like that can be good and fun when they're intentionally cheesy and they know it. You know. <laughs> yeah, they went off with like six movies talking of which man i finally did catch that trailer for the new evil dead uh max yeah the evil dead arrives or whatever yeah it's, oh, it definitely looks good out. it looks yeah. really creepy but i'm disappointed because i'm missing that's what i'm missing with the reboot of that i mean it looks good as like the creepy good film but there's no bruce in it and it's not the thing that I liked about Evil Dead was the comedy horror aspect, and they don't have a bit of that. It looks pretty damn serious. I didn't see any comedy in that one, man. But it does look like a good horror flick, man. That's what I will say. But it's still just not, not Evil Dead enough, man. You got a comedy and horror. Uh, are they going to do Army of Darkness for the third reboot if this one does decent? Like, are they going to go all out? Probably. I don't know. <laughs> I still think the best, the thing that was the best spiritual successor and that they did it right was the, uh, what streaming service had it? I can't remember, but it was are Ash versus the TV show. Yeah. Ash versus the Evil Dead. Stars. And they had I Bruce think. back in it. And yeah, that you got to have Bruce Campbell if you can have it. They did it right too. That was a good way they did it in that series. That was now, Bruce that, Campbell is executive producer of the new Evil Dead movie. Like, oh, is the day he? Before, yeah, the day before the trailer came out, he did a sneak peek where he was talking about how he's not in the movie, but he's executive producer and he helped make it. So that might help out quite a bit on the quality. Yeah. I don't know, though. I mean... I guess Sam without I guess without Raimi, you're not going to get that comedy edge, man. Yeah, it's just not going to be there. And the first two didn't have much comedy, did they? Yeah. Evil Dead Two, that's Evil like Dead. cult classic one right there. Evil Dead Two is almost like a weird rehash of Evil Dead One, you know? Yeah, but he's like fighting his hand and stuff a lot, lot longer, and it's like a lot more comedic. Yeah. But in First a good way, not like, as bad, you know, not as um, bad as, not as bad as in Army of Darkness, because I got to admit, man, they got a little too, too cheesy in Army of Darkness, yeah. man. Army of Darkness was the first one I watched. I watched them out of order. So I was shocked when I went go back and watch Evil Dead. I was like, whoa, this is <laughs> nothing like what I watched. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. I got to go uh, grab a lighter from the gas station. All right, man. You forgot right. one when you ran earlier, huh? Well, my lighter was fine, and then it died on me. Oh, damn. I hate it when that happens. Yeah, ever since they took off the adjustment on the Bix, man, you, you just never know. They just 
boom they're gone it's out and you're like oh man my lighter don't work Let's see. All right, there it is. Yeah, I'm just being very slow and chill tonight while I art. <laughs> Just taking it mellow, man. Got to get on some of that chunky, upbeat techno. That would probably speed me up. Huh. Background stuff now is making me mellow. do <laughs> do 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 I am feeling pretty zen tonight, Warren. That's good. Music does sound like something you'd hear like in a lobby waiting for like a series to start or something. <laughs> please keep please do not talk during the movie. We're just painting happy little comics. <laughs> you know, just feel where the colors go. See that? That's just a happy little mistake. That's a happy mistake.
make you a happy little tree. I did the happy little trees. There's the happy little trees. There you go. You still watch any Bob Ross? Oh, I occasionally watch a video. I've seen them oh. all so much. Yeah, I'll look them up on YouTube, and I'm still learning stuff by watching him. I was all painty before I was all comic-y. Yeah, my university wasn't hip to the comic art yet at the time when I went. I imagine a lot more of them are now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. They finally recognize it more of an art form. That was a big hurdle, man. You hear some of the old artists talk about that, man. When I graduated high school in 99, you know, when I looked up comic book making schools, they were only three that I found and they were all on the East Coast. It was the Hubert School and these two other schools that I never heard of. Yeah. Now you can go to Portland or I think it's PSU in Portland and get a lesson from Bendis. Oh, nice. All right, that'll work. All right, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Damn it, Simpsons. That soundbite is forever embedded into my head. What? That'll do, pig. That'll do. That's from a... Uh, or wasn't it? pig movie. From what? The pig movie, uh, Babe in the City or whatever. Oh, okay. Go, well, didn't they do that with the spider pig thing with the whole Simpsons stuff? Spider pig? Didn't they do that? That'll do pig. I don't well, they know. Might have. Max they will might know have. it, man, yeah. but he's still getting a lighter. It's from Baby Pig in the City. Oh, there you are. Is it? Ah. Was it in? Did it have anything to do with Simpsons and Spider Pig, though, too? Didn't they use that in there? Yeah, they said it was better before in that in the Simpsons said it, too. All right, all right. But the Simpsons steal shit from everything, so. Right, right. Well, I didn't really remember the 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 pig in the city thing, so I always just associated it with Simpsons. Oh damn it! Spider pig. Spider pig did whatever spider pig did. Man, I hate it. Mixing up my shortcut keys when I'm hitting plus or minus <laughs> when I'm cutting this stuff in. Everybody's hanging out. Chilling. Chilling like a villain to the, the wonderful sounds of KPPX in the rain. <laughs> all comics, all the time. <laughs> Get down with the cool stylings of Phil Leon and Warren Brown as they lay down their Comic -y goodness. Comic -y goodness. While listening to dentist office waiting room lobby music. Pete says it's from the replacements. Oh, the replacements. Oh, okay. Hey, and Larry, there's Larry. Was that the uh the Keanu Reeves football movie? Yeah. Yeah, I love that movie. Oh, it's, yeah, I got to pay attention to the chat. It's hard to do when I'm drawing it on screen, but yeah, I get around to it. I'm not doing it on purpose, Pete. I was doing it because, you know, I'm working in Photoshop and can't see the screen. Um, you, don't have two, you don't have two monitors, Phil. 
oh i have another monitor i just need a need a a, a, a mount for it to put it in place out of my right mouth phil yeah if you watch oh, bob ross done. yeah this is a, i like that idea if you watch the bob ross shows in order he's actually painting an entire world <laughs> <laughs> Larry, Larry went to want Larry wants to the school of horror knocks. Horror knocks. He want he want to the school. Of horror. Ugh. Well, you guys sitting around? You want in? You want in the room, man? Want me put the link out? If you do, pipe up, man. UHF is for free on YouTube right now. Is it? Yeah, it has been for a while. Yeah, I've seen that pop up more than once. It's almost like on on Perma. That's the one with uh, Weird Al? Yeah, Weird Al. Yep. Yeah, we tried to stay at that station. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's a cool movie. Let's see. I got to open up Messenger. I heard blinging. They might want the link. Let's see. I'm sending uh, it. There you go. Cool, cool. Thank you, Max. There you go. It's too repetitive for me now, Phil. What's that? Change, change the music. Change it up, man. <laughs> okay. You can pull levers and push buttons, man. You're the prime studio. Oh, one of my old band's tracks, man. Turn it, turn that one down just a little bit. Yeah. What's up, Pete? Yo. Pete. What's up, man? I'm trying to get the echo out of my headphones. Oh, cool. that always helps. Yeah, because, you know, echoes. Makes me feel like I'm having a flashback when it does that stuff. Right? It really does. What's going on, gentlemen? Not a lot. Just doodling. We're doodling. Yeah, I did that before. I had a moment. Uh, yeah, I saw some of it. Yep, yep. I, I had a moment where it was like, oh, my God, I have an idea. And then idea. Yeah, I like the X's on the Muppet things. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Fucker's dead. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> dead. Fuck him. Dead. Dead Muppet. Dead cookie. So, funny story. I see this at the uh, fucking store, dollar store, right? It's a you know, nice L. So I can get corners and stuff, and it's easy, and I can keep it in my shit. And the shit is bent and all. Oh, look at it, it's all fucking. Oh, <laughs> fucking. And I'm sitting there. I'll, I'll go return it. I'm like, first off, who keeps the receipt to Dollar Store? And secondly, who returns shit at Dollar Store? I'm not gonna be that fucking Karen. I'm just <laughs> I'll just go get another one next time I pass by. I'm like, fuck. Just check it and make sure it's not all bent to shit. No, no. I'm gonna next one. I'm gonna get. We'll put it on the floor. Make sure it's all right. <laughs> Then I'll return another one, but with I'll return the fucked up one, and I'll get two. There you go. So I heard somebody talking about erasers before. These are my favorite. The blue or whatever it is. It says move. 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 The big, thick, chunky plastic erasers. <laughs> is, it, is it the high polymer ones, man? Like yeah. the Pentels? Yeah, those yeah, the high like, polymers are like heavy, fucking, like, are like cool. heavy duty. Yeah, heavy fucking duty. Because you can mess with those too, especially after you got them wore in a little bit, where you can use those for good for like smudging techniques and shit too, uh, man. They're dirt cheap too, which is great. I have to order a pack of pencils and a pack of... uh erasers i uh i'm using a brand i don't normally use i know it sounds stupid but i like using the stadler that looks good Warren. i like using the stadler pencils and stadler erasers the 2h i can those, use those polymers seem to be good unless i've noticed if you work depends on how you work if like doing pencil if, if you if you're somebody that 
it presses hard mm -hmm. while you're working they don't seem mm -hmm. to work as well but if you have a lighter touch they work real well you are correct sir i wonder how it works on scribbly or you know guys that scribble i do not know i'm just being a cat i'm just being an asshole uh -oh. <laughs> this scribble guy and the, used car, and the used car salesman. All right, cool. That's enough of that. And, <laughs> and What's up are, with Larry, man? I know. Where, where are you, working. Larry? Get your ass in here, man. He's no, he's working, work sleeping. He's, he's off work. He already chimed in in the chat. From Maybe he's sleeping. Jeez, Plus, God damn it. Well, God, God, God only, damn. It's only like. 10 minutes ago he ain't sleeping yet maybe he pat maybe he hit his face <laughs> Larry he might have messaging out. from his phone in his bed no he doesn't have, he didn't use his phone oh hi Ryan. Hey, 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 what's what's up? What's up, really in face? haven't seen you for a while dude he says what's up phil warren what's up what's up oh i guess you know me and max oh, don't count uh, whatever it's okay. See, he's doing stuff. Oh, now, oh, excuse us. He's doing business. It's a, it's a, Do better, the fuckers. He's doing a ma massive deal right now. <laughs> with, with keys and slabs and and, and 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 slabs and keys. Speaking of keys, they arrested El Chapo. Stickers and they arrested El Chapo's son today or yesterday. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, but then they show video of the arrest. Max, you'll get a kick out of this shit. And so will you, Warren, both two military guys. Uh, so you figure, you know, it's cops breaking down doors and shit like that, right? Okay, yeah. it was doing that. But motherfuckers, it was at night, and motherfuckers in attack helicopters, and you can see the tracer rounds going from top <laughs> to bottom. I'm like, motherfucker, what is he? Holy shit. Like, there's nobody fucking around right now. They're just, that's straight up shooting. That's like actual, like... God damn! <laughs> mad, they mad serious up there, just like shit, like fucking just Apache helicopters. Just, brr, brr, brr. I'm like, god damn! Fuck! Done. It's gonna turn into a big narco movie. His son's gonna get a cell right next to his dad, and then he's gonna help them both escape. Watch. Or his mom is gonna take over, like in the fucking novella that's going on right now. The lady in charge of the cartel, and she's fucking worse than everybody. You're either strung out on her dope or dead. <laughs> she don't fuck around. Homie, don't play. They, do. Dude, they had helicopters shooting, not just helicopters. Like normally, it's helicopters with the light, right? You figure, you know, they're putting the light on it. No. No, these guys were shooting me. <laughs> oh, God damn. <laughs> Surrender. Okay, <laughs> shit. Okay. God damn. My God. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Now, see, that's that's a good saying right there. When life gives you lemons, be happy it wasn't syphilis. That's <laughs> I respect that. I respect that. <laughs> Fuck. There's something for pop to topic. What, what games have been what games has everybody been getting a chance to play if they've had a chance? Skyrim. Skyrim. <laughs> Playing that again. FIFA. FIFA? 
Big surprise. Warren. Big surprise. Warren, I, re -load, I re downloaded a, a Fallen uh -oh. Jedi. I've been playing back through that and also Fallen Arkham Order, City. Yeah. And which Arkham one? Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight. The, the oh, last yeah. Game. The one that's got Nightwing yeah. in it. Yeah, it's got Nightwing and the Batmobile. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, that one's a good one. That's what yeah. I heard with that one. It's like. They should have just made a Nightwing game. Everybody just can play it Nightwing. <laughs> so how is it? Anyhow, I've gotten mixed mixed reviews on that one. Which one, Arkham? No, Knight. Oh, yeah. yeah. Arkham Knight is not as good as Arkham City. Arkham City is the best one. That was the second one. And then Arkham Knight was good, but the Batmobile was awesome but at the same time i don't know it just didn't it wasn't as oh, yeah cool the whole as i thought it would be yeah and for the pc version it was broke forever where you had to go up i guess where you had towers you had to trigger and you just couldn't get to one it was a big glitch that took them forever to fix so if you're playing it on pc hi it man took i heard a stream here man you know what i'm saying what's up man uh i'm just me Aren't you supposed to be printing up shipping labels, man? Once I get the fucking packet, slips in. Oh, you didn't get those you in get yet, those? Huh? Not yet. I'm Sucks. hoping they will fucking show up tomorrow, or otherwise nothing goes out until Monday. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Solid. So how'd your night at work go, sir? It was fine. Um, I didn't read too many comics, though. I was more or less shooting the shit tonight. Yeah. With with the crew. Yeah. I'm supposed to play Call of Duty with one of them, but I think maybe it might be too late for that. Yeah, one of the guys, one of the Pokemon guys, Max, bought Call of Duty. Sweet. So he can, like, jump in with us we're converting so them uh, we're, gonna make man, we're gonna make a man out of him you're gonna get a new meat shield man <laughs> we'll make a man out of this guy you know what i'm saying you're gonna use him as a meat shield you're gonna put sticky bombs on his oh, back yeah. while he runs into the <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna bother him about it tonight because i'm in here now but um, tomorrow night we'll we'll recruit him into uh into the fold yep Two nights off. We gotta squeeze in a fucking game stream Friday, and then Naobu Comics on Saturday, where Max launches. Well, he'll be launched already, but yeah. But the launch night of Merry Machine Gun. Hopefully, he'll be fulfilled by then. Fuck. <laughs> he probably will be, man. Like, I'm the one that's well, been shit, dragging man. feet. Fuck. We're waiting for the books to show up. We just got the proofs. A couple days ago and approved them so it's gonna take however long 10 days to get here now or whatever max is gonna have the books before his campaign's done <laughs> well i'm That's still cool. sitting here drawing extra bricks in the wall bricks you know the I, wall. Yeah. <laughs> no i got i'm 83 percent fulfilled i just got a like a fucking handful of these left but i need these slips and i need these books i need a cover a of origins i have like 10 of them i need to go out and i don't have these books and comics wall spring is dragging fucking feet man oh boy i tell you i know they, uh, they i called them today i called them today i was a little bit pissed eh? i called them today and i'm like uh well, i was nice about it i'm like yeah i'm just calling on my order What's your name? Gave them my name. They look into it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they should be printed today and in the mail tomorrow. Yeah. Well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we, we hope so. See. We shall see. I left it at that. I mean, I paid for like express shipping because I want these. I wanted these things yesterday. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I ordered them like fucking before Christmas. <laughs> now January 6th, you know, like. Yeah, I ordered mine before Christmas too, and I didn't get my my proofs until the third, the second or the third. Mm. Now, are are they just overloaded with business? Did they say, or is it paper problems, or they're, they're like running behind? Is what they said, right? Yeah, they're um, busy. I want a oopa loopa. I want an oopa loopa now. So I don't know if 
busy means that they're running low on paper and they're just busy with what they've got or if they're just busy busy i'm assuming they're just busy busy because it was the end of the year and everyone was printing their books yeah for the beginning of the year Four AM at the A and P. Oh wow, what are you all you guys up to? Drawing Drawing. I love I that writing. doing um, attack on cookie stuff. That makes me happy. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, he was over I, there. I was doing uh, the laundry today at the laundromat, and I came up and, and I'll even show you. Fuck it. So I had my book out because I was going over, uh, you know, stuff that I need to paint for shows coming up and some other, you know, tidbit stuff. And then I just came up with that idea. I saw there's a little kid sitting on top of the uh, sitting on top of the washing machines. So I came up with the uh, I was like, "Ooh, that look that'd be cool if he was like standing over a dead cookie monster." I was like, "Wait a minute, wait a minute! If I really get crazy, I can stick her in there too, mm -hmm. standing next to." And you can tell because you see the you know, the boobs. So he's like at yeah. the sword, and she's you know, and then the dead cookie monster over here. So I'm like, "Okay, cool." So finally, when I got home, because you know you never get to do what you want to do when you get home. You got to do 57 other things. So I did the 57 other things, and then it was come home time. And then it was like, okay, cool. I'm, you know, I'm going to fucking do it live. So I sat down, and we just started having some fun. I did, I did also learn that I want to change his hair. I hate his hair. So we're changing his hair a little bit. I edited it already today. So, yeah, we're doing that kind of shit. So no, we're doing the that. time to figure it out, right? The twink. Right. The tinker and play with things because nothing yep. is nothing you, you don't need to be married to anything at this point in time right you know what I mean, right um and then I'm max <laughs> right i appreciate that i i wanted to you know like, this motherfucker is dead clack, clack. <laughs> <laughs> i wanted him to be dead dead you know and uh she's sitting there oh i forgot to do the oh no i got it it's there she got her guns i like how it looks like you're still smiling <laughs> right, I just give him a little cool, like his dying breath is thinking of cookies. So it's official. I just hired to CB Zanes for the last cover for Savage Sins. That was my big massive deal. I was doing. Look, I'm just gonna let you guys in on a secret. All right, um, CB Zane is the name. It, that's the name I use. It's really me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's been me all this time. But you don't think there might not be a Savage Sin uh, chibi card for you? Or? Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm just saying. No, no, I'm. I was just being funny. Chibi, chibi. See, if I really was being funny, I would have said, uh, "Oh, it, it, um, I'm really <laughs> Steph Wilson." And <laughs> if you had a straight a edge, master. You bought a straight edge in your Steph Wilson. Come on now, come on. That's now. What I'm saying. So I'm saying I got I, I got an L ruler, no circle there. I can't, you know. <laughs> Shit, I barely got these right. <laughs> you know? Fuck. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Was that... Ooh. Got my compass and protractor. I, I, oh, I did figure out the... the... That's where the sex appeal is coming on this book, though. If I can get one sexy Muppet, then that'll be... <laughs> big fucking knockers. It's piggy. Maybe, maybe. I was, but at that point, I could do Janice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I could do Janice, the hippie chick. I just make her all fucking, you know. Hey man. Oh wow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I just wow. make her all. Oh, <laughs> oh, now I'm gonna look this up. Feed <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Got Janice, you gotta throw throw Dr. Teeth in there, man. I love Dr. Teeth. I, 
Janice comes right up too. An and animal. Oh, and the, 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 the chicken. The chicken from Gonzo. Who was the, I can't remember. What was the bass player's name? Floyd. Floyd, yeah, Floyd. And then Floyd there's Miss Piggy. Miss, Miss Piggy did like having her tits out, though. So yeah, she and did. I, She's always in the corsets and shit. Yeah. So maybe Miss Piggy with some some honkers. Oh, the chi- the female frog from the Great Muppet Cave. No, from uh, the Muppet Stick Manhattan. Yeah. There you go. Don't that's not a bad. That's right. That's not a bad one. <laughs> Elmo has a sister. No, that'd be weird. That'd be weird. Elmo's sister's boobs are huge. Right? Yeah, I don't want. I don't. <laughs> I think we're sticking Miss Piggy or Janice just because it's safe. It's just safer. My Elmo. It's safer that way. Or if I really wanted to go crazy, if I really wanted to fuck with people, I could use Red from fucking. Um, uh, um, oh my God! What Fraggles? Yeah. Oh yeah. Down the so these are like forty foot tall monsters, right? Yeah. So you could have like Janice be like Attack of the 50 Foot Woman type thing. Right, exactly. That need just completely do a cover like the movie poster. <laughs> yep. Just sitting there going, instead of saying whatever it is, you know, oh my God. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, do you have that. to stay away to that from the anything to do with the style of the way they always did the mouths on the titans uh the t- no i not necessarily because it's it... here's the I thing if I, that... if I could put if i could i could put a big fucking shit-eating grin on a muppet and change right. the eyes a little bit yeah. change the eyes a little bit and blah 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 and i can get away with it i could get away with it right okay. um because i already because i already i mean you could just look at the uniforms here i already changed so much on the uniforms i'm pretty safe i mean wait where is it where is it? Where is it? I lost it. Oh, I shit my pants. What are you going to use already... for their uh, traveling? They have uh, trucks and ATVs. Okay, cool. They they they're not because we're doing you know the fossil fuels and the sesame oil. Yeah. We felt excuse me. We felt that it just the horses just wouldn't work. And yeah. I also I also said drawing horses, just drawing <laughs> one horse, just drawing Bad one enough. horse, <laughs> pain in the ass. One horse, huge yeah. pain in the ass. Drawing many horses running and doing shit, yeah, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. And then, then you don't want to draw Savage Sin stuff, trust me. Then no, no, look, this would have been like 80 horses in one scene and shit. Yeah. Like so, at that point, I told him like, listen, what's gonna happen is if we're doing horses, the one monster's gonna eat them all in one shot, and then that's it. No more fucking horses because we're not doing that. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm talking full fledged Red Sonya shit, fucking dragons, horses, you name it, man. Like look, lizard men, like it's all coming. Man. Look, if somebody pays me to draw horses, that's one thing. I do it all on my own. Ah, oh, fuck, nah. <laughs> horses, I just got used to it because I had a girlfriend that was really into horses, and I she always had me draw horse things, so I eventually learned how to do them. She but, likes you know, horses. since it's your girlfriend, you're going to be, even though you're like, man, I don't want to do horses. It's like, okay. And Reseda, but <laughs> I want to do them. So, and thank you, Warren, for the help. I did, when I started doing the hand, fixing his hand over here, so I could hold yeah. the sword the other way, I didn't have the sword in his hand, and it looked like he was, you know, playing with his yeah. sword. So... <laughs> Luckily, I run into it. that problem a few times while I'm doing this. Is you put a, you, you're trying to get that hand position just right, but then it's like, oh wait a minute, no, that's just wait, wait, oh, wait, oh no, 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 no. Then you got to cover her eyes. Don't look, don't look, don't look, because he's Eat touching. Ooh. he's touching his, his stuff. He's touching his wang. You got yeah. guns in this too, so there wasn't guns in attack right. on right and not, right. Not not till the very end. Not till the last season. When they discovered that they weren't the only people in the world and shit, that they were being fucking just bamboozled on that fucking island. Mm-hmm. So, and the right the gun the guns they have are like, oh, wild west rifles. Yeah, repeated you know, rifles and stuff. Yeah, yeah, they they don't have anything, you know, or even some a lot of bolt action shit. They don't have anything. No automatics. No hang. No Glocks or anything like that. <laughs> And then I took the cable, the Batman grappling hooks away from him, and I gave him little jump packs. So they, they work as a team in tandem. 
So instead of, you know, them all riding horses and jumping off from the horses and shit like that, she'll be driving the ATV. That's why she's got guns. So she can yeah. shoot and drive at the same time, right? And then he jump packs off the back of the ATV, goes, does his sword and sorcery shit, and then jumps back and hooks back up with his ATV driver. Okay, cool. Yeah. So it's, it, it's the same but different. Yeah. You know? The same but different. And then the, the, the trick is, like, this is probably too much like Cookie to be anything other than, you know, Pete's making a print for fun kind of thing. You know, I... Like, like add hair. a third eye, would that be enough? Or is that no, no, I, I, I have to split his eyes. Uh, um, I got to make the mouth a little bit different. And the fur is... Uh, I, I round off all the fur. I basically give him okay. a perm. I basically give him a... Yeah. A bit, I, big old sheep. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's basically what is it he is. gonna like, be fucking blue? Well, not on, uh, not in in the book because the first book is gonna be black and white. But the co on the covers, uh, he will be a different blue. You know, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe more of a sky blue with some, you know, some things like that. We can sure. try to get away with stuff like that, uh, or a darker blue. You know, things of that nature. Cause I can color them however the fuck I want and everything else. Is just sick, is, isn't there a sky blue one that was a female? Her, uh, Harry, Harry, whatever the fuck his name was, is sky blue. Okay. I haven't seen that some bitch in years, so I don't know. <laughs> Only Muppet that died or something. I don't know. But um. Did he die? I know. I know. He didn't die. I'm just. I'm just being an asshole. Mr. Hooper died. Yeah, but he's he, not he, a Muppet. Yeah, but he, 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 he's in this. But he's in this book. So yeah. and that was <laughs> live forever, man. That was super sad for me as a kid. It was. I was, I was upset. I really was. I was like, not Mr. Hooper, no. <laughs> Who's gonna run the store? Is exactly what I said. Well, exactly. now we lost Bob. Wow. Then they put the Spanish. Then they put we lost the Spanish guy too. Louise. Yeah. Then they put they put him in charge. So now instead of Mr. <laughs> Hooper, now it's, now it's a Sesame Street bodega, and that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> or like Sesame Street Starbucks, like fucking. But the the good news is there's only I only have to worry about four Muppets in this book, this yeah. book. Got so four Muppets to feed. So, and one of them you barely see. So it's okay. And do you have, have more are... than just this one plan, Pete? No, Jay and I did not plan. Jay and I didn't expect this to go. The, 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 the idea initially was he saw the print and wanted to do a short story, you know, like an essay. Yeah. And maybe I could and maybe I could do some pictures, we'd do like a 10 page something and put it out for fun. You know? Yeah. He wrote a comic book. I'm like, you fuck. Okay. And then that's when I was going through the, the fucking crisis of wow, my art sucks. So I didn't want to do comic books anymore, like until I learned how to do them. <laughs> Again, like I just wasn't, I I, I just wasn't there. My I, I okay. I'm going to explain it like this. I was not drawing them as if I was drawing. Um, my sequentials were not. Um, what the fuck is the word? Movie, um, cinematic. No, no, well, they weren't cinematic. But like, uh, what's the drawings? Um, uh, fucking high. Um, fuck. Uh, you talking about storyboard? That's it. My my my, pan, my my panels weren't. Yeah, storyboard. man. Just... Fuck you, the cheeses. Good, good muffin, man. The cheeses, the cheese. It's delicious, bro. No, I got today. I got to break in my new grinder today. Sweet. Uh, it was pretty. It's it's plastic, but it's perfect. Nice. It's it's just what I need. What the fuck is it? Where the fuck is it? Do I have it out? Did I put everything away like a good boy? Are, are you looking at your chat fills or anything going on? <laughs> it, was, it, it, was, it was me for a long time. You got yeah, YouTube you go. and Facebook. You never was watching because I shared it. Well, right? you, know, you and then William Pace, and we already addressed both of you, so that's... yeah. You, that's did, it. you didn't talk to me. If you're lurking out there. If you're lurking. In the if you're lurking. Up, Who's out there? Say you hello. Are. Oh, you definitely got some in there too. You definitely have some uh some some lurkers in there, bro. Hello, it's me. 
Or it could just be bots getting up their stats. Either way, it's good stuff. Hey, the porn bot. We love you. Yeah, you know, it wasn't. It was the, uh, where was he? Where was he? Where is it? 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 Back to the chat. Back to the chat. We had to buy. We had to, yeah, you, earlier, we had to buy people to watch your shit, bot. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what it was. You pay me and I'll get people to watch your shit. And then when that when that, when that program is done, your account will die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so never buy, never buy anything from these fucking people. Um. So yeah, we got uh we got that going on. Like you, Larry said, I'm tweaking things here and there. You know, not completely going back to formula and stuff, but whatever. But yeah, so when I uh stop doing sequentials, like I gotta really take some more, like read another film book and blah blah blah. Um, and I really wasn't, I didn't think I was ready to yet. And then, uh, these pages came up and I think we get it. Oh, by the way, I think we'll talk about this in an off air, but I, thought, I, 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 time, I think it's time to the green light project Kaiju. Okay. Okay. You know, you know what I mean? I think it's time to yeah. green light. I, know, I haven't, I haven't heard the report back yet. I think, I think it's all imagine to imagine tomorrow. I'll probably yeah, he had a, he had a big where the fuck is the things I want to show you? Ah, uh, here they are. Ha -ha. I have a stack of shit. I should have a stack of shit. And so I wasn't ready until this came along, you know, and I felt pretty good about it. I know the things that I did wrong. I stayed too square and stuff like that, but that's fine. That's where you grow. You know, that's how you grow. So, yeah. So I'm excited about jumping onto these pages, which I had done a while ago. But I'm looking at them now and it's like, wow, terrible. Like, okay, funny example. This was a, a sample of, of something a buddy of mine came up with an idea. What if Batman was driving home and uh, he's talking to Alfred and then he gets out of the car? And there's somebody else in his room, and it's you know, Tony fucking Tony. Stark. Yeah, Tony Stark in the bed. They did a whole thing, which was fun. Driving the car was a pain in the ass. Then that was the, the first splash page of the Jimmy Friday book. Lots of changes have to happen. This is fucking twelve years old, but it's my favorite page out of all of them, and it still needs a shit more. This I found by accident. Larry's gonna dig this. So is Yeah, I was gonna say, like, show me this thing. This is a drawing done by my friend Connie, and she said this is probably, this is probably like eight years old too. Excuse me. And she, had, and she had asked me if I wanted to ink it, and I said yes because she's an amazing artist. So this is me inking over uh, Connie's stuff. Very oh, yeah. nice. Great success. Yeah, I dig it a lot. It was fun. Is it that Frank Miller vibe? She's got she's got a really fun style. She's got a really fun style. Tom um, Hutchinson's still alive. Yep. Oh, did you what? Did you what not tonight? Oh, I'm gonna do what not maybe like next week. I have okay. to watch the video to see how it works on a computer. Mm -hmm. Apparently, you can use OBS and a computer to do this. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out and then uh, yeah, big big sale. I'm gonna tell you, it will it probably will be. Cause I've seen guys just murder things on whatnot. Really big sale. Really big. Not use car sales in, but really big sales. I, I want to fucking, you know, white widow the shit out of whatnot. Uh, you're going to uh, do things and whatnot, you know. What I like about this one, Larry, I mean, Larry, Max, it's got a little magnet in the middle. Yeah. So I've had it, one like that before. And it's just, it's just you know, whoop. So you don't splash your shit all over the place. Yeah, I'm I'm bad about that. Yeah, me too. So I was really glad. That's why I, I, I it was a pleasant surprise. I didn't know it had it, but I was like, yes, I won't make a mess. Yes. I've been using the same one for three years now. Uh, hopefully, this is just day one with this one, but I hope you know 
it's all chipped up and <laughs> not apart. It's, it's lived a life. To it's live lived a life. life. Yeah. But look, man, look, you, you know somebody's proficient with their shit when you see that they got good paraphernalia. Yep. Oh, Warren. Yes. Here's that. That Henry Elefante. Oh, okay. There's an elephant pipe. Oh, that's cool. That's <laughs> fucking cool. Now wait, do, 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 are you kissing it or are you sucking its ass? He's kissing it. Okay. On the nose. That's not supposed to be supposed to be good luck. <laughs> I mean, if you're kissing him on the nose, yeah. I mean, if he better be good luck if you're smoking out of his ass. That's yeah. Ganesh. <laughs> Ganesh. Ganesh. I'll be right back. I'm going to use the potty. All right. It was only like 28 bucks, so I bought it. lab for a minute. What are you doing, Warren? I am putting in the shading. <laughs> He's drawing extra bricks in the wall, Max. Extra bricks in the wall. So, so floor panels. The Tom McFarland guy, mm -hmm. he always says, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty no much. matter what's going on, just keeps inking. <laughs> yep, it's like Tom uh, Nick Penguina. Okay, Mr. Farland, we have a car right here for you. I'll be driving you directly to your hotel so you can get freshened up and ready for the signing. Tom, hmm, Penguina, is that okay with you, Mr. Farland? Mm hmm. <laughs> and he's working on the page as they're walking down the street. It says, Penguin and Tom are sitting in the car while Penguin is driving. We are looking at them through the windshield. And I can't believe you made it to issue 300. That's an amazing accomplishment. Tom, mm-hmm. Here, take issue 300 to Spider Dude. Panel three, Tom is handing a copy of the comic to book to Penguin. Penguin, oh my God, thank you so much. Tom, mm-hmm, sure, no problem. Now, if you don't mind, I have to draw more bricks in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Penguina wow. looks a little bit embarrassed that she drives in silence. And I'm going to keep bringing that up over and over and over again. That he's got to like, like when he's, the, when the, the, the white goblin's getting defeated, he's like, while you're botching a fucking kidnapping, I'm drawing bricks in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you call me more than my mom, bud. I'm gonna have to get a bunch of Todd McFarland uh, references. <laughs> Just need like a little bit of a mullet. <laughs> okay. If you pay for that haircut, that's brutal, man. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's, that's weird. I wonder why the chat it doesn't cover facebook did they boot us off of facebook already with their silly shit well it's either that or i know with mine even after i've uh confirmed and verified and connected the facebook for some reason the, the it won't you can't won't post in up. the chat uh, yeah it's still alive yeah it's still alive facebook always seems to be a pain in the ass yeah we're definitely still streaming in all the That's spots quick, and Warren. things. Putting all those huh? colors, in, like, putting all those, those gray tones in like that was pretty quick. Yeah, I got a pretty good system. I'm moving yeah. a lot faster. <sighs> the longest part is the uh, just the page construction, the layouts. Yeah. 
once I have that down, it starts going pretty quick. Unless I do something stupid like put a bunch of floorboards in or windows. <laughs> 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 Well, you know, like we we're talking about that before, you don't need to, you, you can, I like the way you, since it's your own thing and you can do it and you're not on some tight deadline that you can put all the extra little goodies everywhere like that in it, man. Yeah, it pays off at the end. It just hurts the hand until then. Yeah. Plus, you don't want to get lazy in your backgrounds. Yeah, I've 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 seen that quite a bit here and there over over the time, man. Or I see, and I think, like I said, it's I think sometimes it's time limitations, but I see less background stuff added in in a lot of books more recently in in people's stuff sometimes. It's probably time, and it's also it's not easy to do, especially in, like yeah. some of the smaller panels. And like I like to try to do a nice big establishing shot, and in issue one, that would be it. And then the rest of the panels, I would do the least amount of background as possible because I just put bubbles in there. And you know, and then sometimes it's people are really good at backgrounds, not as much as like the other things, and then vice versa. You know, just like in the you know back in the day. You don't. It, I don't think they do it much anymore. But you had an artist that would just do the background and panels, and then the other, the main artist would do all the all the other goodies. You know, characters and stuff. Yeah, that's the way those uh, those manga teams do it. Yep. You only you get like the main artist does like the character pencils and the panel layouts, and then he has a, someone doing buildings and background, someone doing inking and. Well, yeah, of course, because yeah, because they crank those out, man. Their production times have got to be, you know, they've got short ass production time, man. Well, if you're team. doing twenty one pages in seven days, you need to have a, a team. Together. Yeah, exactly. And of course, that way you get the better and more detailed art too, because you got different people working in different areas on it. I imagine with that kind of, that's the time when it comes in handy when you have really tight crunches on a timeline. You can, if your team is good enough, you can just usually adapt and overcome. But yeah. Your team has to be good enough. Yeah. Right, but, right. I mean, but they also got all the money in the world over there to be spending on these guys. Right, they, right. They do. <laughs> they do spend money oh, on yeah. these guys. Yeah, yeah. The way I take it, the manga artists are still treated like rock stars over there. Yeah. It's a real, uh, real weird, or not weird, but cutthroat system they got too, where it's like you mm -hmm. create the series, and if it doesn't reach the numbers, it's gone. Like oh, it's yeah. not like you do spy. You do, here's your established IP character, like the big two. With them, it's like you come up with everything, and if people like it, we got your back. But if not, we'll cut you quicker than shit. Cuts like a knife. And it feels all right. I mean, there's no second chances in Japanese publishing. Oh, no. Your numbers slip, you're done. Yes. Yes. Unless you're someone like the JoJo's guy. That one, that one, uh... Stan? volume or whatever was it volume six or something it didn't do that well but the seven picked back up again and he had one through five that was a beast yeah <laughs> like the fucking poor naruto guy they wouldn't let him end it yeah like i want to be done it's like no i hate this shit what i hate this shit guys i got more ideas come on now I want to, no, not even that. He's like, I just like, I'll go be a milkman. Fuck this shit. I'm done. <laughs> I'm fucking done. Now, you hear me out. Boruto, Naruto's <laughs> son. We're just going to change this one letter. How's I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm out. Meanwhile, you turn it to completely the other side of the coin. The Pokemon guys can't stop making money. 
Can't stop coming up with ideas. <laughs> now, what did they recently? Did they recently retire Ash? Ash finally yeah. won, and be, Ash and Pikachu finally became grand champions. So, are they going to start like with a new character and do a different storyline? This story line this, now, this, this month, two new trainers are going to begin, and their Pokemon are going to begin their journey to become Pokemon masters. Okay, cool. And then Ash and Ash and Pikachu are gonna go off into the sunset. Yeah, because Ash is male and white, and they don't want that anymore. <laughs> it has nothing to do in Japan, and he's not white; he's Japanese. I would say, like, I thought he was Japanese because he's from Japan, but I didn't know. I don't, I don't pay attention to Pokemon because, no, no. I mean, a lot of a lot of the Japanese stuff they do have American people in it. Are we completely honest with you? I don't even think their world; they're in a whole different world than us. Yeah. So, I. Well, I mean, they got a little fucking Pokemon that you can ride on and shit. So and yeah, fucking <laughs> fighting and shit and dragons and shit. How you well, tell me, it's the new Pokemon person female. There's a female and a male, like there was in the and because remember, Ash's crew had him, what's her face, and then the other guy. So it was two guys and a girl. Yeah, but who's the main? Hmm. Who's I don't know. Main? They they haven't they we haven't seen him yet. All right. Probably no, whoever yeah. you choose to play. It's probably gonna be one no, of those no, in the cartoon. Reasons. We're talking about the fucking cartoon here. Oh, it's not a game. Okay. I think Pokemon is one of the few things that doesn't give two shits about that stuff. It really doesn't. Because I mean, Jesus Christ, Poke if Pikachu is if, if Pikachu's ambiguity is like whatever. Who cares? It's Pikachu. They can bring back Ash too. I mean, if like this they new shit. Well, they will. Yeah, out. they will. They can bring him back, or he can come back to help him out. Yeah, I mean, if this new shit doesn't work, they'll bring him back just for, mm -hmm. for points. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Or, or they'll do a sideshow with him or some shit, you know? And remember, this is just the anime. Motherfuckers haven't been in the games in forever, you know? The games have been doing its yeah. own thing. And the cards, the games and the cards are where the money is. Yeah, for sure. I mean... The cartoon is really just a, it's just the same thing as a, any other cartoon in the 80s was. It's just an advertisement for the properties mm -hmm. that you yeah. buy cards and video games. I mean, <laughs> Jesus, people saw, a lot of people even forgot that there was a fucking anime. Like, oh shit, there's still an anime? No doubt. All right. Fucking 25 years. 25 years, some bitch. I wish I had that kind of job security. No shit. <laughs> yeah, create one of those global phenomenons. Twenty-five. I'm just talking about Ash. <laughs> oh yeah. And he's not actually age at, at all during that. He's, he's actually retiring and being given a gold watch. <laughs> Did they I mean, age him up for this run, or is he still, still Ash? He's still Ash. I think he, he might. I don't know. I haven't really paid attention to that. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. That's what they always though. do if you want to return too, is you just age him up and then create a new, yeah, you know, introduce a new world. Modern Ash. Pikachu takes New York. <laughs> Pikachu's a junkie. <laughs> they gotta they gotta they gotta put him down. It's like adult, yeah. It's like a, going straight up Akira freaking Pokemon. Sorry, Pikachu, we gotta put you down. Pika. No, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> You bit one too many people. You got it. Sorry. That's, wow, that's, that got dark. <laughs> that got really dark. I'm sorry, everybody. I let my darkness shine. Catch them all. Well, if I want to show my darkness, catch them all and cook them. There's my darkness. Is he flipping the bird? Yep. All right. <laughs> While he's hanging. That's the way to do it. Go up, 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 bird. Bird. Bird is the word. Go and fuck yourself. Okay. He's still going to hang you, though. Okay. Da, da, da. Mow, 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 mow. I don't care. Okay. So what's Sig doing now in this in these panels while he's not here? 
He's Stuffed over and at things. the Janet's convenience store talking with her. There's a whole little scene there with a the, with the robber of the store, and we get a little bit more uh, back details about Sig and Joe during that conversation. Okay. I have modeled the uh, gas station after like the one that I work at. <laughs> Is he trying to get some? No, no, not from her. He he treats her with like a, almost like a a a, um, a motherly figure. Oh. Very respectful. As a matter of fact, he doesn't break any panels while he's with her. Because I always have to think breaking a panel when like he's in. But with her, he, he acts completely in line. And then as soon as he leaves, he starts breaking panels again. I have misplaced my exact line. That's interesting. I like, I like hearing about how people conceive the, the book and everything. Different Deve things development. Yeah, development. It's one of those things I don't know if, if people are going to notice, but... Um, you, you know I, it's there. <laughs> yeah, I know it's there. <laughs> and you, you might not notice, but your brain But your did. brain did. <laughs> I was just going to do... Oh, I got to love the RLM, the RLM guys. They just did an experiment with uh, with speculation. They did it with a, a movie, a movie that they had a whole wall of. Yeah, that's talking up to about like eighty thousand dollars. What's that? It's up to like eighty one thousand dollars now. Yeah, they did a little experiment, but of course they're donating fifty percent yeah. of St. Jude's and fifty percent to their local humane society but yeah their whole thing was through time it's been an ongoing joke with a movie called nuki that they keep saying they'll watch and they never do and people keep sending them the tapes and then they talked about video grading and and resales basically video flippers you know it's kind of still related with the whole comic flipper thing and stuff but you know had it graded but they're talking about how scarcity and other things determine that so they did an experiment and they had a whole wall of all these Nuki copies that they collected over time. And they put them all in the wood chip chipper and blew them everywhere except for one to, to help uh, keep to the whole uh, scarcity part of the deal. It's so, like yeah. The, what's that? It's like the ET video game from Atari 2600. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. They fucking took them all, all it's the copies. The landfill because they knew. Yeah, the landfill. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody yep. wanted them. I have that did. game. Yeah, see, there you go. You know how fucking valuable that is right now. And I remember never getting out of the pit. That was <laughs> like the end of it, you know. But that game, like, there's you can't fucking find it. You just can't. Yeah, when I first played that game, I thought I was playing it wrong or something. I didn't realize how broken the damn thing was. Yeah, yeah. Art and Victim no says how White Devil. You try. What's that? Art, Art Victim says White Devil. They're watching on Facebook. Hey, what's up? Oh, I want to give a huge shout out to that man. Yes, um, no kidding. He made me those uh, Niobe anime. Uh, I don't know what to call them. Gifts or <laughs> yeah, you know, what I use on the animated screen. animated gifts. Um, I really appreciate that, and uh, I have to hook him up somehow with books. You, make oh, yeah. you, make you, rock, you rock, art victim. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I know, and, and the fact that he can do these things, right? Because art victim also, I'm pretty sure, was the same same guy that made the, my Niobe V tube avatar, right? Mm. Oh, the the v, oh. the the moving one. You know, well, when like, I go on stream sometimes, and I the, the anime chicks. Yeah, the virtual, the virtual avatar. Right. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, catfish yeah. one. Yeah. Well, look, our victim. We have to have a conversation. Um, like, yeah. message me, because I would definitely like to procure your services for them. Yeah, I I think uh, you know we might have to. You know, start hiring him for stuff because mm -hmm. he can do these things. And they're wonderful and glorious. Heard that. Yeah, those uh, animated gifts he made were really nice. They moved well and everything. 
And they tasted delicious. Yes. Oh. Well, we're still going to have a chat, Mr. Art Victim. And it's going to be uh, he says, super fun to do. I actually didn't do the VTube one for you. I just started doing them, though. Thank you. Oh, okay. Well. But, yeah. We're, we're, and he also said that, talking about the E.T. game, that that game was broken as fuck. Yeah, it was. Most definitely. Well, there was a cat out there that made me. It's just like, sort of like, art, like, I'm like, here, I made this for you. I remember so every that. Every now and then I get these weird, you know, not weird, these cool little gifts bestowed upon me you know they can be cool and weird at the same time man oh well, you gotta admit see me as a digital female must be a little weird girl right <laughs> yeah but we all kind of expected it <laughs> oh they need a touch okay gotta do that down here Let me see if I take this down. I'm actually starting to get more and more hyped for this year, man. Looking forward to it. Good. Max fucking sleeping? No. No. <laughs> no. He's just breathing. choking on snot. <laughs> there you go. really is the zen den isn't it it's like the whole vibe the music the, the yeah. dead air you know for for periods of time we're all working not so mellow i'm looking for a fucking receipt that i can't find we're, no. all, working. we're all working transit scripts and receipts larry the old lady wants to take back one of the christmas gifts and exchange it or something i gotta find this fucking receipt Bling, bling. Yeah, I don't know why Windows does that sometimes when I zoom in my zoom using the shortcuts in my on my Wacom tablet. It's a weird side effect. I think she might have gotten lucky here. Who? Yeah. Yeah. Go, go look at something. Mm.
Make a new layer, Phil. Airhead. <laughs> I tried it fun. <laughs> devil needs a mustache mm. and a beard mustache and a beard <laughs> scruffy not like a full beard like fucking five o'clock shadow type stuff yeah maybe a goatee I dig his armor. Too clean, slit, slit, uh, shaded for the most apocalyptic world. Yeah, actually, really armor that armor design basically came from early manga. Man, you know how they do the stuff like the natural <laughs> shells for armor and stuff like that. Yeah, I dig. I dig it a lot. Um, let's see. That's not okay. Gonna have to take care of that there. Shut up, bird. Dang old, dang old, dang old bird. Shut your mouth, bird. Horse lady's talking. Bird is bas basically white devil's conscious. <laughs> you know, like, dude, <laughs> you know, horse like, being a like, smart ass. Like Jiminy and, Cricket? And, and white devil, or temple, his name's Temple. But he's always kind of a gruff guy. He softens up a little bit when he meets Centaur Girl. You know, he starts to soften up a little bit. Of, know, he's just, the, he's just a gruff. He's a gruff merc for hire, man. And he's kind of, of going through that journey, you know? Of course the story he likes, journey. Of course he likes Centaur Girls. Think of all the holes. Oh, Jesus, oh. man. Oh, <laughs> Pete, Pete, Pete. What? I'm not wrong. I'm not. Uh, I don't know if he's right either. <laughs> <laughs> this is a G-rated show, guys. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just talking about hole. I'm just talking about holes. <laughs> Crap. 
<laughs> throw, throwing me off, man. I'm hitting wrong buttons and shit. Because you think because you're thinking of all the holes. I'm hitting the wrong bricks and shit. I'm hitting the wrong <laughs> bricks in the wall, man. Next time, next time, next time you color Simtar girl, you're gonna be looking for him now. Mm -hmm. Oh, you'll add a little extra texture and shading in certain spots. Hey, man, you want me to color them holes in, man? What holes? What? What do you mean? She doesn't have extra holes. Pete said she has extra holes. Settle down. Just don't go for the wrong hole. See, our victim knows. I'm going to tell you what Phil's thinking, our victim. Don't encourage me. <laughs> you read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> we will devolve. We will devolve. We'll go off the rails. Trying not to. Everybody's been good about that. I appreciate that. Bring in Giselle. Bring in Giselle. <laughs> Why is he? Oh, is he shit. At? I didn't think about Giselle, man, of tonight. I'm sorry if you're watching, Giselle. Are you he's out not. There? He's not. Okay. You know, you can see who's watching your stream, right? On Twitch. You know that, right? In StreamYard? No, in in on Twitch. On Twitch, if, yeah. If you, on Twitch. Tab, if you open a tab with Twitch, you can go to your page where your video is showing, and you can hit right. the little button and see who's following. Who's there? One. And two, doesn't he generally watch from YouTube though? When he'd show up, when he shows he up, he would show up on YouTube. Yeah, he would show up on YouTube. Yeah. I mean, yesterday he showed up on Twitch. On Monday he showed up on my Twitch. Right. Yeah, you have a bunch of lurkers right now. All right. And me, and me. I'm over there. Well, thank you. I always appreciate the lurkers, man. Gotta get the numbers up. Sometimes, sometimes people just like to watch. Gotta get the numbers up. I was watching on my phone, but it's gone dead. So. Yeah, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Yeah, it is. God. <laughs> <laughs> But shit, we wouldn't have Wall Street if it wasn't, so what the hell? <laughs> Crap, I gotta fix that. Get your one way ticket to midnight. Oh crap. Didn't mean to do that. Bring it on down. Yes, it is. Our victim working and lurking is absolutely fantastic. Working and lurking. Mm -hmm. uh, that is always cool to have other people working on route art hanging out because you know it's a kind of a solitary thing most of the time. It's a lonely world being an artist. Oh yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs>
Yes, Lord Vader. I'll be done in a minute. I have altered the deal. Pray I don't alter it farther. Father? Like father means? I am your father. I ate his liver with fava beans and I can't eat. Nice. What'd you do? If you eat I regular. hit the fill button, then I hit the I had nothing clear to do all button, and then I had to hit the back button to fix it all again. I had nothing to do with it, man. Filled the whole page up. Is that what we're calling mistakes? I, I, I filled? Yep, I filled it up. The fill button. I feel so the a specific button to turn turn me off off and and on and quiet and mute. <laughs> I, I I don't want to turn you on, Phil. I am interested where the mute button is. He liked to turn you on. I read the news today. Oh boy. You know, a crowd of people stood and stared. Fifty? Uh, was it fifty? Is it a fifty or seventy-five thousand for uh, the funeral for the, for the pope that passed away? Oh, wow. oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Uh, what Pope Benedict? I think. No, yeah, Rath Rathenberger, whatever yeah, the, uh, the the old... one, the one that retired and uh, right that opened the door for Saint Francis, for Father for Pope Francis. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, that's why. Oh, Part of the resistance and a traitor. Take her away. Commander finds the plans. We'll tear the ship apart. Basketball is a peaceful planet. Hmm. Basketball job. Was a basketball job. At night, I used to dribble all over my pillow. I started singing that at work and nobody knew what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. I work with a with a twenty year old, and I started doing office quotes, and they had no idea what I was talking about. Jesus, the office isn't that old. I know. <laughs> basketball Jones. Basketball Jones gets forgotten about, but they the one thing that I noticed they haven't forgot about yet is earache my eye. Uh, Mike Greenberg on ESPN Radio this afternoon was talking about how one of the guys that works for him was born in 97 and it was just disgusting that he had somebody that worked with him that was as old as his kids right so he was upset about that so <laughs> so he was saying and in and, and, and similar news uh this past weekend the giants the rookie the first round draft pick made a sack and uh nick Foles ended up getting hurt during the sack but the guy the kid didn't know so he was like celebrating so at the press conference, Jeff Saturday, who was a Hall of Famer, played for the Colts, was um, was really pissed off about it. They were celebrating while he was hurt. And then somebody asked, uh, the, the, Thibodeau is the Giants rookie. And then somebody asked him about it. He's like, well, I, you know, I, don't, I don't respect anybody. I don't know anybody. Like, who is he to tell me? You know, did he play? I don't even know. And they're like, yeah, he's a Hall of Famer, played with Peyton Manning. He's like, oh, I had no idea who he was. Because he was just so young that he had no fucking idea who Jeff Saturday was. <laughs> and I'm like, holy shit. 
he's the guy who gave Peyton Manning the ball for all those years. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, okay, all right, cool, my bad. And I was like, wow. I get Shit, it. I'm old and I don't know much of that stuff. Well, first, I, I, I know because I love football. I also know because right. I played center. But basically, the guy who, who centered for Peyton Manning all those years in Indianapolis, I mean, shit. You're going to know him a little bit. Right. You got at least heard of the name. Yep, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. Man, Welcome back. To work. <laughs> if he's coughing like that in his sleep, shit. <laughs> Welcome back. Hey, Jack. Yeah, we'll do normal first. Oh, yeah. Mm, too much. Right. Uh, I'm going to smoke a cigarette and probably head out. Yeah, I'm going to head okay, out here, yeah, man. man. Well, thanks for stopping by, fellas. Definitely. Not out the door yet, but it's not long. I'm not leaving. I'm getting shit done over here, so. Get it done, boss. We're always good. Glad to be part of the, part of your mellow, man. It was relaxing me with the music and putting me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's like being at the massage parlor, I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, with one minor difference. <clears throat> yeah, there's going to be none of that. Yeah, nope, <laughs> you're right. Absolutely correct. <laughs> Unless... Unless the centaur gets here, then. Yeah, <laughs> the centaur gets here. Then it's a fucking party. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm happy with this. Going to a party. Me and my friends after school. Art Victim has followed you on Twitch. There you go. Thank sweet. you. Oh, sweet. Much appreciated. You now have eight followers. All right. Yeah, I haven't been active on Twitch. I mean, well, I've been active on the other channels just as much, which is but slow. I, I, yeah. But but over on Twitch, it's been so long that it I have there's no it didn't save any more videos. It's been long enough where they got Facebook. You can do whatever, and it, and it is and it is what it is. You know. Um, I don't know anything about YouTube, so I won't speak on it. Instagram definitely is something that you have to cultivate all a, a while, a couple times. You got to be on it for a couple hours a day, not in one shot, but you know, in general. Does um, Streamyard have an option to to broadcast over on Instagram yet? No, they no. don't. They're, they're not. Yeah, they're not. That's not going to happen. Instagram has its own live thing, and they want they don't right. want Instagram to turn. They don't want Instagram to be because uh, then it's just like Facebook. But they don't want it to be just like Facebook. They really want it to be something <laughs> you use from your phone. Primarily, anyway. Um, Twitch definitely is um, needy. It's it's needy like YouTube where um, you have to be consistent. You have to be on it constantly. Or at least regularly. You know? And stuff like that. And, and um, I know you don't like this, Phil. but And, and I'm sorry in advance. But um, Twitch is also one of those where um, the best partner for it is um, Twitter. Twitter, yeah. I'm not yeah. a Twitterer, much of a and Twitterer. Unlike YouTube, Twitch likes longer streams, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like Twitch likes a two, three hour stream, and YouTube is more about the short streams and pre recorded and all those lines. What is it, short streams? Because I remember initially when you were doing stuff on youtube they suggest you did over like that do over 10 minute videos or something initially it seems like i remember at well, least two, 10 minutes or 20 minutes or something like that i don't remember twitch don't give a shit if you go like all day i mean shit fucking like um i mean 
See, with well, video game guys will go like eight, 12 hours. Well, here's the thing. YouTube, if you do a long stream, a long stream will work if people are engaged in the chat because that, that's what they want. Like the perfect right. example is the Dale Keown. He was asleep oh. for how many hours? No and, God, it's the hours. And yeah. but he went, but he gained like five hundred followers. He gained five hundred subs that day. That. He can super chat and all that shit. Now he got over a thousand. So that's what I'm saying. Like like those hot tub chicks, they'll go for five six hours, oh, and they'll get and, girls, and yeah. they'll get subs, and then they'll be Twitch partner, and boom. Oh. So. I saw what you could do a uh, stream to Twitter on uh, mm -hmm. from StreamYards. I, I, have you, have you ever right. tried that one? No. Yeah, there's one. Know. There's one on there. We we're looking through that the other night, man. There's a weird one. Let me. Was it? Uh, like I guess o I can't take or something it. or o o something? O P or something like that. O -O no, it's A J O something, man. I've never heard of it before, and I didn't bother looking up here. I'll look in my other stream yard because I can't do that shit with the live one after I already said it. Um, let's see. Um, It is Hopin, H-O-P-I-N. And you can also do LinkedIn, our other options, and custom RTMP, which I think is what, like a stream key where you can post, mm -hmm. post the stream anywhere. The stream key helps you for video games. But yeah, this Hopin thing I have never heard of before, but it's in the list of uh, destinations for streams. For, but does it, it, that might be for games maybe like i said never heard of it can you stream to two twitches at the same time or do you need OBS to do that? yes and yes and no you can't from Streamyard. however because i don't think it'll let you however twitch now has a thing where you can add guests if you go okay. to your if you go to your career dashboard there on the left, it'll say guest star. And so when you do guest star, you can collab with people and things like that. Okay, cool. We might have uh, to try that where these uh, Zen Den so mm -hmm. I can have my Twitter yeah. going or on my Twitch going at the same time. Oh, well, yeah. I'm, I'm up for testing out new and different stuff as it comes along for sure see how it works i'm probably gonna go live saturday but i'm gonna go like three three four o'clock my time so p.m uh yeah so that's what seven and six or seven time yeah yeah that's i go do the cooler at my work at seven o'clock at night my time so I'll probably stream for a couple hours and then go do the cooler. I'll keep you posted, Pete, on what time. Are you working that day? Yeah, I'm working lunch, though, so. Oh, okay. Luke, you are my father.
I think the stream I think the stream sprung a leak. <laughs> Yeah, I'm happy. I like it. I'm so happy. You're so happy too. What are you working on there, Pete? I sat down and I was just going to hang with you guys. And then I kind of started dicking around, just, you know, whatever. And I ended up doing not exactly Wednesday, but just random, random woman doing the Wednesday dance. Inspired by. And exactly yeah. in the in in the theme of I'd give her big hair and more adult kind of dancing the but just shits and giggles just I've uh, I made it a point um, I made it a point to uh, starting now cause I've done it before but starting now like always something pops in my head fucking draw it wait art victim said here. The biggest hurdle for me to get affiliate in Twitch is to get my average viewership up. Yep, exactly. Power power lurkers, yep. Yeah, lockdown worked really well. And that's how I did it. And that's how I made affiliate. Because I don't game. I just draw. Uh, if I game more, I could probably... I could, if I gamed more and streamed more regularly... I could probably make partner in like a year. I have a added, computer. I would try gaming more, but my sister uses her Switch and an emul and a not an emulator, but I forget what the name of the thing. There's one more thing you have to use. I'm sure Larry knows. Um, some shit that you got to do and blah blah blah. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna stick with my analog bullshit. You know, one two cameras. I might get it. I might get another screen, just so I can watch, you know, the chat. But uh, yeah, yeah. My next computer, I'm gonna build, and uh, I'd like to get two screens for it. Uh, I'm saving up my next spare three hundred dollars. Uh, a buddy of mine has uh, a Mac desktop. That he's gonna oh, nice. give me, and because mine, mine, my hard drive and my memory was fine. It was the screen itself crashed, went to shit, oh, and, then okay. you, and you just can't use them anymore after that. And they, they just die, you know. But it was yeah. almost, it was like twelve years old, so whatever, maybe more. So who cares? Yeah, it was definitely more than that. So whatever, it's fine. So he has a newer one. And uh, he said, yeah, I'll put the hard drive in it. You know, give me 300 bucks and it's yours. I have a bunch. I'm like, sold. That'll be nice. To run on a proper Mac again. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a Mac guy. I'm sorry. I just like them. I understand. I'm not not, I'm not one of those guys that's like, no, fuck you. Blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. You rock whatever you rock. You be good with whatever you got. That's cool. I respect it all. I just like my Mac better. I wonder, my, would you be able to hook your them. iPad up to the Mac and use it as a tablet? Excuse me? Would you be able to hook up your iPad to your Mac and use it as a tablet? I mean, yeah, but I already appropriate, so why would I want to? Well, that's true. I, I mean, if you wanted to use like the PC Photoshop? version of Clip or Photoshop, which are better than the iPad versions from what I heard, but I'm not, I don't know 100%. I think I'm sure that they are because the desktop has more power. And I'm sure when I could go, I could ask one of the fucking Apple Store guys if that's what you could do. Because I, I, I want to say yes, but for my, and, and maybe like if I was using it the way you and Phil are, then yeah, I would want to look into that. But I mean, I'll look into it for shits and giggles. But for my intents and purposes, Procreate's, you know. Yeah, and Procreate's good enough. Fits everything. It fits what I need. Yeah. 
I wish they yeah. added a little bit better with uh, with paneling, like to help make panels. But it still works good. Yeah, I don't think they had comic books in mind. No. <laughs> Their time lapse is uh, way better than clips, though. Their time lapse is, and that's just an Apple thing, you know. Yeah. And their pencil is as good as a Wacom's. I love the pencil. Oh, yeah. I've had to get new nibs for it, but that's, you know. Depends yeah. on the model of Wacom. Well, I mean, just the general. I'm not sure what, what model of Wacom, but generally it has the same sensitivity and the same kind of uh, movement. <laughs> right. Well, it depends. It's like whether you're talking about a bamboo or, a, or an Intuos or a Cintiq. They all got different levels. Bamboo is is way less down in the mix. Like that's like a good entry level one, but it doesn't have all the extra little bits and sensitivity like like the uh, like an Intuos or the Cintiq do. Is the Cintiq the top of the line one? Cintiq's the on screen one, and yeah, well, the, both the Cintiq or the Intuos Pros. They definitely have, uh, and it, it steps up through them. It, they definitely have uh, more pressure sensitivity. There's more of a range in pressure sensitivity. One thing nice about going to Rose City Con is that Wacom has a headquarters in Portland. So they always oh, no, have this shit. giant presentation where they have like 20 tablets out and you can just walk up and start drawing on them. That's yeah, pretty cool. That's always nice to be able Sometimes, to test it out, see which model fits you best, man. They used to come to New York Comic Con. Maybe they will again soon. Although I will say, I will go reverse with it. Um, I, I made one trip for football to Portland, but it was uh, we, had, we also had a side. We had, a, we had another reason to go. Uh, many of us in the group, and Warren's going to giggle when I say this. Uh, many of us in the group are Adidas heads. Uh, <laughs> yes. uh, Adidas. And the the the, the Adidas uh, mothership is there in Portland, and uh, yeah. the, the the store discount is legit. That's what I was going to say with Wack Wacom. I they have like those in store discounts like you get at places like that at some of their prime outlets yeah adidas big backers of the blazers and uh yeah mm -hmm. it's adidas are very popular shoe in portland it's adidas a are a very shoe. popular show with, with soccer heads yeah and portland's mm -hmm. quite the soccer town mm -hmm. well you, you guys have a few championships not exactly two years ago, because what happened in Portland in your stadium? Oh, yeah, we beat you. Yeah, but she did. <laughs> the best part about it, though, well, one of the best parts is we got to run around town doing stuff before and after, and everybody was like, okay, cool. It's cool. Like, had we won the championship in Philly? God, there would have been riots. <laughs> Riot. Quiet, right? No, not no, not in Philly. <laughs> <laughs> Still alive over there, Larry? Yeah, I'm just looking up the PlayStation. Oh, I was going to tell you, Pete. I started a Red Bubble. Oh, good. I, and I need to uh, out of uh, yeah, out of all of the ones I've tried so far. At first, its setup is a little bit confusing, but then when I realized what was going on, it, it was actually one of the easier ones that I've used so far. It's on my list to try. They do a lot of stuff for you that the other ones you have to set up. They're like, it's almost automatic on Redbubble. Like I said, I got it's on my list. To get that. Uh, 
<laughs> they have cool products too. They got shower curtains. You want to get a Sig and Joe shower curtain? It's on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen that. That you could do that, do that with shower curtains. That's pretty they cool. They also have a uh, cat and dog pads. So if you want Fido or the cat to have a Sig and Joe or a Tack on Cookie pad, you can do that <laughs> on there. <laughs> That's fantastic. I like how Max kind of goes along with the music. Yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> his BPM setting is the same as the, as the loop. <laughs> you got your BPMs, your, your beats per minute worked out there, Max? I try. I thought so. <laughs> this is Angelic talk and cure for insomnia. Mm -hmm. Because it's mellow. Hey, I don't mind people watch a little bit, gets them all mellow and chilled out, you know, and they can sleep, you know, that's cool. They're still got the stream running and they've been checking us out and see what's up. So, Max, so, could only be a, sorry. I was just going to say, it's all good with me, man. Now, if it could only be a cure for anorexia, then that'd be great. Oh, then, yeah, that, I need that. <laughs> there is. It's at your local dispensary. When you were in Portland, Pete, did you try Voodoo Donuts? Uh, a couple friends of mine did because uh, he's a, a Krispy Kreme freak. So he's like, oh, I got to okay. try this out. Oh, I was like, I we like went. Krispy Kreme. We, I couldn't because we had to go. We we were we were little literally in town for thirty hours. Oh, okay. We landed, went to Adidas, came back. Dropped off stuff in my buddy's car who rented a car. Dropped off all our stuff directly to the store. Got shit because I was one of the few guys with the Costco card and stuff like that. So it was go get the card, get tailgate stuff, tailgate, march into the stadium, march out of the stadium, drop the car off at the airport, go home. Nice. Some people stayed for a couple days, and I'm sure they did all that stuff. I was like, nope, I don't have that kind of time. We're going to march in. We're going to march out. It's not like there was a centaur there waiting for me. <laughs> centaur. Those are at the airport. Not even. Fucking somebody took my centaur. <laughs> yeah, they, they gotta talk to them, uh, Phil. They need to do some uh, sexy centaur covers for the next Kickstarter. Bad girl centaur. Bad girl centaur. Well, there's also that iron butterfly, the chick that runs one of the. Oh yeah, she's gangs. all set for cover. All dominatrixy looking and stuff. Yeah, I like that page where she cracks that one dude right in the nuts. Oh yeah, Kathwack. Yeah. <laughs> They operate as the mad scientist's henchmen. And Go she's out. the one that did the, the made the centaur girl the way she was. What's that? Is she the one that made no, the centaur no, girl she, the way? No, she's just like the head of like, like a gang in New Tokyo. It's she's like you know, Rick, uh, the the kingpin in that particular group. But they all work for the. Uh, mad scientist uh what was his name dr kensen or something to that effect he's the one that's doing all these weird experiments on everybody and he's has him uh kidnapping people from the villages that's how white devil came into it a village hired him out because he is a merc money for hire and he is hired to go find the missing people that have been abducted and get them back and in the process, that's when he ran into a centaur chick. 
and the rest of them go back to the village but centaur chick wanted to go back and and stop the evil scientist so he's not doing it to other people and that's how she ends up hooking up and linking linking up with the uh, white devil they're in this issue they're actually they're on their way to the uh scientist the mad scientist uh castle laboratory whatever you want to call it that's good shit, Phil. You're, not only are you the colors but you also are you have a good knowledge of the what the book is about yeah well thanks and i also like i always said man my, my my writer buddy down there by that lives down by max he came up with the best analogy that i thought fit really well um if it was in the video game realm it'd be like a it, the it'd be like uh red dead redemption meets dragon age and throw a little sci-fi in with the mix Oh, yeah. A little bit westerny, a little bit sci-fi, a little bit fantasy. I'm a little bit get with the, the centaur girl. Does he fall in love? Do what? Does, does White Devil fall in love with the centaur girl? Well, it's kind of looking like he's starting to soften up a little bit. I'm noticing in this issue as, as they're traveling along, being traveling companions. So or is it just physical? We'll see where it goes. And like I said, of course, he's got Bird along for the ride that kind of helps helps uh, give him a conscious <laughs> or make fun of him when he's doing something that's you know gangstery, you know. So kind of keeps him in line. Bird is definitely like his conscious. So what you're saying is he hasn't hit it yet. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> All right, that's fair. At least not where I've reached in the story. It's gonna be a hell of a page of color. <laughs> oh god very much doubt that's gonna happen he's they're just gonna be getting traveling companions and you know get a good friendship bond going and shit oh, i bet he wants to bond oh god <laughs> <laughs> no such thing as friends just friends he wants someone else Who knows? Maybe they fucked up when they made Centaur Girl, and they can they, they connected Girl with Boy Horse. Oh God! Oh, White Devil's in for a world of hurt. Just saying, it could happen. <laughs> so it sounds like eating crackers. There you go. Is that bug wearing a mask or something? What's that? Oh, that's his life support mask. Okay. It's all effed up from the war. When he's in Nam. <laughs> Back in Nam, man. Were you stationed in Dunang? It's coming right for us. It's coming right for us.
Life could be work. Milk could have pulp. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Milk could have pulp. Is that what you said? Yeah. Does if you get buttermilk. Yeah. I hate that stuff. Ew. I will yeah. only cook with that for a recipe that calls mm -hmm. for it, man. My grandfather used to drink it right yes, out of his heart. Yes, mine too. Yeah. He'd dip his biscuits in it and stuff, man. I thought it was bad, so I, I started pouring it out, and he yelled at me. Oh, he was so good. <laughs> See, it, it, <laughs> it, it's, like, it's it, gone bad. <laughs> was he from the South? Yeah, North Carolina. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a Southern thing, I believe, man. My buttermilk biscuit gonna butter your biscuit that's right yeah, he, he grew up in the south super poor he used to like go steal farmer eggs and poke little holes in it and suck it, the insides out and he didn't learn how to read or write until he was in the army when they would turn off the korean war and we do live in the appalachians uh <laughs> kind of like yeah, his his old house where they, he grew up in, they didn't have electricity until like like ninety five. Wow. Oh, damn. That's hardcore, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> Real hillbilly. <laughs> Those are the fucks that'll save us though if anybody ever invades this country. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Larry's playing a fight game. I'm playing the Star Wars game, dude. I'm kind of oh, okay. Advanced. I heard fight elements in 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 the background. <laughs> I'm at the part where you're rescuing the Wookies. I thought it was a porno. Oh, I didn't get on. Fuck. Okay. Is that after me or before? Let's see. Uh, let's see where you're at. I'm in the, like the. Still the same spot I've been at the last two weeks. Oh, oh you're yeah, back just that after same that. spot yet, yeah, man. Yeah, it's just after that one, Larry. I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to do on this fucking planet, though. Like... Follow the map. The, that is one thing I will say about that game is it needed to work on its map. Yeah, especially you know, with the multiple, multiple levels. Close. That really threw you off for the way areas were disconnected, like... Even though they're connected somewhere in between, you'd have like part of the map over here and it continues over here. And somehow you got to find out where those two pieces actually link up. 
and then you're the multiple level thing yeah that map was a little they need to refine that a little bit for that new one that's coming out i hope they did that was one of the biggest complaints too so i bet you they worked it out for the next one a little bit better and that's not far how long is that before that comes out that's coming out soon right uh march march same as the mandalorian in march i thought it was february but i just looked at over it again mandalorian starts in march oh, okay Has anyone played that uh, Gotham Knights game? Is, is it any good? No. Oh, yeah. That was the one I was talking about with the uh, everybody that had mixed reviews. I was mixing it up with the other one, the Arkham Knights. Oh, yeah. The one I was uh, playing was uh, the last Batman one to come out where it was called Arkham Knight. They basically uh, said, oh, go ahead. Sorry. It was essentially the Red Hood story. Yeah, they, basically it sounds like when people talk about it, they're like, they should have just made this a, a Nightwing game, man. Oh, okay. And they're like, it's probably the best part of it is playing as Nightwing or something, it sounds like. It's got mixed reviews, man. It's got pros and cons, it sounds like. Wait till it's on sale. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to go check out the ACG review on it. He's really good at that. And his his uh, his scoring system is buy, wait for a sale, never touch, and something like he's got like four stages for it. And that dude's pretty good about it too. He's, he'll be like, okay, if you're into this kind of thing in particular, it's a buy right now. Now, if you're not about this type of thing in particular, you might want to wait for a sale or a deep, deep. Yeah, that was another one. Deep, deep sale. Sale or deep, deep sale. So deep, deep or, or never touch. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that ACG dude does. He he's That dude's got it down on reviews and he's pretty damn accurate. It always goes through stages like he'll talk about overall and the and what it's about and then he'll go into graphics and then he'll talk about the graphics and sound and go and talk about the sound and overall fun factor and then the rating kind of thing it's one of the best reviewers i've seen out there for video games it's very much on it so yes, I am plugging ACG on YouTube. You want some good gaming? About to say, is he sending you a check? No, but he's just. I'm. I'm, <laughs> I'm saying he's that good that I'll. I will actually promote that dude's stuff for sure. I'm still waiting for my sponsorship from Monster. <laughs> from Monday. Monster Monday. Hasn't shown up yet though. Monday, Monday, blah, 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 blah. Eh, shit, that's not gonna... Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Gonna... Gonna crash out and wake up, and I'll still have the. <laughs> I'll wake up with my brain with that still going. Bing, bing, ka bing, ka bing. <laughs> Do it with the stream on. You might get a thousand volts. There you go. Like I said, I'm gonna hit up this. I'm gonna hit up one band that posted on a couple of the comic sites about working with some artists on stuff, and see if they'd if they'd be cool with uh allowing the use of their music for background because it was pretty pretty good stuff and it worked well for a background man
It'd be cool if you had the the people that were interested to do like a a private stream on YouTube and just send people the link and then you can play whatever you want, but you can't monetize it. Yeah. I, mean, I, I imagine you can play whatever you want because it's a private stream, but yeah. When I have a chance and I'm not busy, I need to just start making some tracks. I'll fire up Sony Acid Pro again. There you go. Start some Acid, yeah. Yeah. I know it's a really good looping, sequencing, recording. Yeah, it's not bad. It's program. a good dog. It's got you can use multiple tracks and just build it up. I would do when I was getting into doing stuff on my own and just in the electronica field. I would use some loops. Plus, you can chop them up. You could like totally reinvent a loop that you have to just chop it up and change it and shit. Yeah. And then I would sometimes play some keyboard parts myself on my synth stuff and add that into the mix, or maybe even chop that up and turn it into loops. You know, and just keep building it track by track. Well, drums <laughs> first. I build That's the drum. That's cool. I'm so first. musically uh, just. I don't know. I mean, I'm horrible with music. And uh, like I like to listen. I can't do anything when it comes to playing music. So that's really interesting. I love the. I mean, the. I try even tried those programs. I couldn't figure the shit out. I would say you could probably do looping though, man. You could build. I bet you could do that with that. That way, you're just putting together pieces that have already been created. You know, you don't have to know. You don't have to know notes and all that shit. You know, just a little bit of structure and. Like I said, with me, I just play some of the parts myself since I do that a bit and then just add it in just a whole mix of stuff. All right, fellas, I'm going to bed. All right, All right dude. Good night. Have a good one. Peace. See you later. Safe travels. Peace. Get home safe. I watch some of the like the YouTube videos of the like the professional loopers or the championships where they have like, like in Germany and Russia. And some of those guys are insane. They're like doing beatboxing and loop machine together, and it's just amazing some of the stuff they can come up with. I can see Russia from my house. Giselle's can see Russia from his house. Is Giselle in the chat? No, he hasn't been around, man. Uh, since you're bringing him up, he was in there or something. He's probably probably mad with John and all his feet talk the other night. Send him a message on Instagram. I'm I'm gonna wrap up here soon this time. Anyhow, I'll hit him up on the next one. Send him a message on Instagram. Sounds like Phil doesn't like Giselle. Hmm. No, Giselle's cool, man. I'm just saying. I was like, I should we know. send him a message earlier? On the, and he was like, no. I'm just a guy. No, I did not. <laughs> you know, I heard that about Phil. Yeah, yeah. Giselle, Giselle was saying something about that. <laughs> I don't think Mr. Leon likes me. Well, <laughs> he did not. <laughs> Yeah, there's times when uh, Mr. Leon sort of scares me, you know. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Cray Crayon, sir. He scares us all. Mr. Mr. Warren. Mr. Warren. Fuck, I don't know if I want to use this. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, I'm a... I'm in a good spot on my sleep schedule now, so I don't want to do the like we've been doing the wee hours of the morning stuff not man. till the sun comes through the window in the house of the rising sun
been the ruin of many a poor boy. I love that song. In God, I know I won. So, Warren, tell your children not to do what I have done. That'll be easy. I don't have any kids. Live my life in sin and misery in the house of the rising sun. We did a version at that one time where we it, it changed over time where it, it started getting faster and we turned it into a rockabilly song. Hmm. The guitar player was into that at the time. He's really good at the stuff. It was fun. I haven't seen that dude in a while. I wonder what he's been up to. Fuck. Foxtrot. Uniform. Charlie. Kilo. I need to do. I want to listen to some some Bloodhound Gang. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't need no water. Let the mother burn, 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 motherfucker, burn. Right here, PD. What was that? Right here, PD. <laughs> That's right. I mean, the fucking stim packs. Stat. Right. Stat, I tell you. Mm. Boom. Ba Doom. I think that's what I'll do to wrap up the night. Talking about Petey. Play a little bit of Spidey. Just a little bit of Spidey, man. Careful with that game. A little bit turn into a couple hours. Nah. I'll just do I'll a couple. Game. I'll do just do a couple of those. One or two of those shorter. Uh, like I said, I was cleaning everything all the collectibles and upgrade shit off the map and I, right now all i got left with that is a couple of the uh king band kingpin uh the crime bonus ones to do which they aren't too long or you gotta go I to won't the, get any uh, the fist construction uh, site and take out a couple waves of people yeah i won't get into any spoilers but there'll be a time period where like the map kind of i don't want to say resets but you're gonna have a whole bunch of other stuff to do so it's good you're getting all that stuff out of the way now cool yeah i've had about two side missions in that's all i've actually found or gotten so far i wrap those up yeah it's one of those games where it's going along and you think you're at the end and then it kind of just keeps like keeps going what a re really long nice story in that one well, plus on the PC, it's got the added DLC that three, three, three different chapter DLCs. Yeah, I don't think you could start those until after you get to end game. I'm not 100 percent sure. No, it was after. Well, at least the first one with Black Cat, you can play after. I think it was like the second mission that I finished. Then that opens up second or third, oh, okay. third mission. Yeah, I to bought the, the, the uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla game because it was like on massive sale. I bought the complete edition. You got to be careful with that one because you can go into any of the DLC at any time. And uh, some of that DSL, DLC requires you to be like at level 200. So I'm going in there like at level 45. Like, oh shit. Just getting annihilated. I would play cyberpunk but i know i'd have to spend a lot of time on that and i've already i've been getting 
busier on the art end, so I don't think I'm going to have too much time to get into an in-depth one. The DLC should like be Max. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not going to do like Max and be getting into Skyrim. I know that's just fucking hours, hours of stuff. Like what's on the average? What is that for Skyrim? Like between fifty and a hundred hours or something like I that. I think so, that... especially if you do all the side shit and you right. really explore. Well, and it's the same with The Witcher. I've tried to wrap some of those up several times where I had downtime in the winter time, and then picks up and gets busy, and I'll have to stop playing it. And with that game, if you stop playing and it's been a while, you forget a bunch of the interactions you had and who's pissed at you and who's not and what you were doing. So you basically almost got to start at the beginning again. So I'm like, yeah. Yeah, Witcher 3 was, is like, every time I try to play it, you almost have to start over because it has such a complex fighting system. And it's like you really have a hard time just jumping back in after not playing it for a year. Yeah. And it's just recently with The Witcher 3, they put out the one that had, what is it, the Game of the Year edition or whatever, where it's done. It's got everything in it now or whatever, you know? Yeah, and they just recently dropped the next-gen graphics upgrade, which added a, a brand-new mission and redid a little bit of the fighting and helped, like, so we kind of cleaned it up and then Be right it back. runs it like... Uh, yeah, 60 frames 4K now and I'm not sure how it is on PC but I've heard mixed about how well it's showing up on the console. A lot of stuff usually fares better on PC with a lot of that stuff just like Cyberpunk as much as of a mess it was for most of the consoles or all the consoles, it wasn't really bad for the PC comparatively at the beginning before they got all those fixes in. They should have never tried to port it for last gen. Yeah. Do you want to see it? Yeah, of course. Oh, nice. Here, let me bring up my screen, though, so I can actually see it. Do what? There we go. Wednesday, man. You More just hush. You just hush, Larry. I was already hitting the but button while you were mouthing. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> really like how the eyes and the face came out. Eyes without a face. Yeah, it looks good, Pete. It's a lot of fun. Just fun. Shits and giggles. Really have no idea what's going on. Good texture in the outfit, too. Layers and layers and layers and layers. It's always about the layers, man. I just layered shit on top of all of it. The layers are all. Yeah, I'm happy. I'll do a little background. I'll get a little icy blue in the background. Icy blue. Crystal blue persuasion. That'll definitely be a, a poster for something. Do you still have any of the prints left uh, for, for of those Wednesday prints? Yeah, so, someone came yeah. with her the hand thing on her shoulder. Oh, the thing, yeah. I would like to get uh, one of those for my sister-in-law from you. Would you feel better if I just gave you the the Google Drive link and you could print it out? Yeah, if you're yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh yeah, cool. I'll get Where'd one you... print out for. Her. 
Yeah, we, it, it'd just be easier for you. Yeah. No, much appreciated. That's awesome. I'll, I'll bump it over to you. Uh, I'll do it tomorrow if that's okay. Yeah, that works. Perfect. And then at that point, you can print it out whatever size you want, really. Yeah. So. I just realized this will be the first thing that Rico and Dawn are on. You know any jokes, BD? Mm -hmm. Are you happy about that? I don't know. Why? <laughs> Boy, Why? Boop. Beep boop. I'm definitely getting further than I was before. I'm in a completely new area now. Oh, we appreciate that. Lady. <laughs> Oh, I gotta run these walls. I need to cheese it. Ah! Our victim says layers are hype. I agree. Layers are hype, and I do agree. Be some information on their excavation inside, right? Always hold you on the bright side. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome, buddy. You are a traitor and a part of the Rebel Alliance. You're welcome, Archie. Take you away. Oh, you hit her. Jesus. What? Insert disc. I like the perspective on that. I like the way it looks. They're still oh, using man. floppies, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. And he wrote heist info on the, the floppy. He's got a whole a whole 32, 32 megabits on it, man. Or KB kilobits. I was going to draw a USB drive, but I thought this would be funnier. It is. That's funnier. I like it. God, that's a big ass. Can't plenty on it. It's a, it's a zip drive, man. <laughs> it's a zip disk, man. I like it though it, with the movies, especially the sci-fi ones. Start playing around with like what time period it is. Like, you watch Blade Runner. It opens up with flying cars, and then when it goes into like the police station. They're using like rotary phones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> landline. What's a landline? Using one of those phones where you could take the handset and knock somebody out with them. <laughs> oh, yeah. We used to have one of those at my house. Yeah, the old school ones. Yeah, hard, heavy, is, heavy hardcore. I know. I got hit in the head a couple times by my brothers with those things, man, when we were growing up. When you'd fight over it. Get off the damn phone i gotta use it man or when it used to be on the internet and then as soon as someone called the oh house, i used off. to piss off the house with that man <laughs> damn it philip get off the computer <laughs> Yeah, Philip. In the early in the early days of the internet, where you had to go to a BBS, dial a specific number. <laughs> the upside down, long ago and far away. You had those modems where you had to put the 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 handset of the phone on top of it. <laughs> Thank you. 
you spoiled kids with all your hard drives and stuff. We had to use a tape. We used. We had to use a tape deck. We liked it. I can't believe that that we used to actually have to load up software with a tape deck with a cassette tape, man. <laughs> And it took forever. <laughs> you guys are like, okay, Grandpa. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Boomer. Shut the fuck up, Boomer. Uh, not quite a Boomer. <clears throat> Am I, boom, am I a boomer? Huh? Am I a boomer? Huh? Boom! How about that? Am I a boomer? Boom! Am I, bo am I a boomer? Huh? Am I a boomer? Huh? Oh, I had that shit on loop. No wonder it did that again. <laughs> <laughs> Any sign of the tomb? No. The Mia has been stepping up security. Keep your focus. Do, 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 do. Okay, we'll keep looking. Keep looking, man. I'm sorry, I'm making progress. I'm happy. I'm actually might uh, finish this game at some day. Right. Stuck forever in that place with the balls and shit. I know. Get good. I'm trying to figure out the puzzles. I had done it all before, and then somehow I ended up back in there. And I'm like, fuck, how do I get out of this place again? Ah. Now I'm out. And now like, I got to figure out where I got to go to next. Do I can you swim in this game? Uh you, yeah, you can't go underneath the water, but you swim on top of it. You can swim in the ocean. Like, it looks like I got no other option but to jump in this water. Jump in the water. Alright, yeah, I guess that's what I do too. Alright, cool. Jump in the water. Swim, Archie, swim. Hey, Grease, you busy? Well, I was trying to watch this, you know. There's no escape, and that's for sure. You better swim. And make it to shore. Like you the only pilot, you There's an evil feeling in Larry's brain. Just cut. All right, all right. I was wondering. 
Hold on, I'm coming. <laughs> What's going there on? There you go. I didn't even realize, Pete, I was looking and seeing if we're ah. still streaming in the other areas. And it's like, you're like, let me in. Oh, yeah, your camera was going crazy. You weren't fast enough, Beatty. Fucking Beatty, my ass. Your ass. Or oh, ass a pork. For the love of God, I gotta figure that out. That's what just, happened? No, I was just <clears throat> trying to figure out um, what's going on with my camera. Probably no big deal. Just stupid. Just stupid. Oh, yes. <laughs> there it is. I'm gonna take us here into the off air, man. I just finished that page. Good, good. So what I'm gonna do is everybody who will go around give an update on what's up. Warren, you just finished up your page for just finished up the page for issue two of the adventures of Sig and Joe, written, drawn. Everything but edited and lettered by me. Ed editing and lettering by my best friend, Max Weston. Um, <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff on the plate coming up. I'm going to be doing a print run, colored cover for issue one. I did some alternate covers. We're going to be announcing a uh, Kickstarter about mid of the year. And uh, yeah, a lot of good stuff coming down. Oh, uh, yeah. So what's up with you, uh, Pete? What you got going on? What's coming up? Where can people find you and see what's going on? Right now, I'm just putting everything together for uh, two things. For Attack on Cookie, the book. Just putting everything together so the book, hopefully, we can get it out in the spring. Uh, then I'm also right now, the big thing right now is getting ready for my own in-person show, the Indie Art Show, February 4th at the Great South Bay Brewery here in Bayshore, Long Island. And uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. And then, honestly, it's con season. Like, let's let's jump on the – let's go back to shows. So I'll keep you guys posted on all of that. Hell, yeah. Larry? Niobu. Niobu. Where can they find Niobu, man? Just Niobu. <laughs> Niobu. <laughs> You're going to have them that's looking in the wrong spot. Know. Niobe, go look for Niobe. Niobu. Get caught up. You can find it out on where, where can you find it? Through Antarctic Press. Ask your comic shop if they can order Niobe Demand for you. That your comic shop Demand it. Antarctic Demand Press. it. And. Currently working on it's way too loud for you, bro. What's that? It's way too loud. You can't hear it. What's what's going on? The music is too loud. Oh, I don't even hear a plane. Holy shit! Oh yeah, on. it's like the, you had the whole guitar thing going. Oh, thank you. Wow, I wonder why I not, didn't hear it on my end. I changed it up. Shit. All right, but anyhow, yeah. Phil Leon, you can find me at uh, Facebook uh, under Phil Leon's easiest way. Currently working on a page of White Devil here, as you can see on the screen. White Devil! Got some more stuff going on. Just finished up that cover with uh, with Warren right there for Sig and Joe. Some other stuff on the way, but yeah, so stay tuned. Uh, thanks for dropping into the show, and uh, we will catch you all later party on gar hold on titties we're gonna do that oh. why is he doing that white devil that's the wrong song even and our hold hey now I'm trying to get my production values back up here